Yo, Obama want to hop on modded MC. I just got out of court. Sure, but you're going to have to buy the server because my Ukraine money is still going through the laundering process. F I spent all of my money on the greatest lawyers, so I'm broke now. But they're the best lawyers anyone has ever seen. Believe me, they're standing up to the fake news media and the corrupt Democrats who are trying to steal the election from me. Trump, how the f are you broke? You're supposed to be a billionaire. Whatever, I will just have Joe spend some of the laundered Ukraine money to fund the server. Great idea. I never thought of that. Okay, I bought the server with the Ukraine money. It was very complicated, but my teleprompter was able to help. Joe, you are dumb as shit. Why would you need a teleprompter for that? Whatever, just send the IP address. Okay, I joined the server. Where the hell did Joe wander off to? Me and Obama are gathering materials to make a base. Come to coordinates 167, 67, minus 594. Okay, I'm heading there now. Hey, look, guys, I found an airship. That's cool and all, but why is Joe's fat-ass wife attacking me? Uh, that must be the Cataclysm mod. It has Joe's old-ass wife as a mob for some reason. Shut the f*** up, Obama. Your wife is literally a man with a penis. Joe, please take your dementia pills. That was debunked a long time ago. Guys, I found a village. Let's raid it and bomb their weddings like Obama did in Afghanistan. Donald, that joke is so lame. We both know that wasn't my fault. You're just mad that you're going to prison. Obama, I am not going to prison. We both know I am innocent. You're the one who ordered the strike on the weddings, you dumbass. Guys, stop arguing. I just finished building the base. Come to my coordinates and I'll give you some iron. We need to go to the nether and get some blaze rods. Shut the f*** up, Joe. Stop trying to use your teleprompter to sound more professional. We all know you can't speak that well. Guys, I found some diamonds. I'm going to mine some obsidian for a nether portal. Okay, I'm making some guns with the iron, Joe. Let's go shoot Obama with them. Great idea, Donald. I'm also going to take some of the military equipment that I left in Afghanistan. Guys, this is Minecraft. Where the hell are you getting all of this modern technology from? Joe is probably cheating again like he did in the 2020 election. I have no idea how he got all of these materials. He's probably having his Secret Service do the work for him. Donald, you're just mad that you lost to a dementia patient, you know. I won the election fair and square. Let's hurry up and go to the nether already. Guys, I got to get off. I have some freaky time with Michelle scheduled for today, and she's going to get mad if I don't go. Okay, I have to hop off, too, because I have to talk to my lawyer so I can beat this stupid-ass case. Okay, I'm just going to go to sleep then. Yo, are you guys ready to raid the dungeon next to our base? Donald, you dumbass. We were supposed to go to the nether this episode. No, Donald is right. We should test our strength at the dungeon before we take on the nether. F you guys. I'm just going to go to the nether by myself then, since you guys want to be put. Whatever, Obama, don't get mad when you lose your inventory from dying. You literally have zero skill. Yo, Donald, I'm on my way to the dungeon. I'm going to provide air support with my helicopter. Okay, Joe, just make sure not to crash or blow me up because no one would ever trust you to fly a helicopter. Shut the f*** up, Donald. No one would ever trust you within a 20-foot radius of their daughter. Joe, you literally sniff babies whenever you get the chance. I don't want to hear your bullshit. Guys, I found a blaze spawner. Go look for some ender pearls so we can defeat the ender dragon. Okay, I already put two pearls in the chest. I'm going to look for more. I'm surprised you haven't died yet. You must be cheating like Joe. Shut up, Donald. All you do is accuse other people of cheating. The nether isn't that hard when you have a little skill, you dumbass. Obama, you are spitting straight facts. Donald is such a little bitch, and I'm going to beat his ass again in the 2024 election. Joe, you can't even speak properly or remember where the hell you are. There is no way you are going to win another election. Donald, I am much more capable than you think I am. I already have eight ender pearls to make eyes of ender out of end of line. Joe, did you really just read the end of line from your teleprompter? Holy shit, I knew you were stupid, but this is something else. Please take your dementia medication so you don't start hallucinating. Okay, I admitted I was using a teleprompter, but I was only using it because of its convenience, not because I have undiagnosed dementia. Guys, I'm back from the nether. I put the blaze rods and ender pearls in the chest. We should almost have enough now. Guys, I'm pretty sure I just made a portal to the f***ing underworld. Let's go in there and beat the shit out of Satan. Donald, are you f***ing stupid? We just went to the nether like two minutes ago. Yo, you dumbass. I'm not talking about the nether. I'm talking about the Twilight Forest, and I'm pretty sure your fat ass wife is one of the bosses. Guys, why don't we go to the end first and get an elytra before going to another dimension? Obama, the end is literally the most boring and bland dimension while the Twilight Forest is actually interesting. And by the way, we don't need an elytra because we can just craft a bomber. Yeah, Trump is right. I think we should go to the Twilight Forest and deal with those bosses first. F you guys, I'm going to get off. I would rather suck than play with you geriatrics that can't agree on anything. Well, lucky for you, you already sucked because your wife is literally a man. 
I'm going to go to sleep. Yo, Obama, want to hop on the server? Sure, but don't invite Donald. I'm already here, dumbass. Shit, you shouldn't have invited him. Whatever I'm hopping on now. Nah, just come to the Twilight Forest portal. I got something for you guys. Donald, what type of anime shit is this? It's a book for casting spells. We're going to need it to kill the bosses in the Twilight Forest. Oh, that shit sounds pretty good. I'm going to go in the portal and test it out. Donald, how the f*** do you use this? Joe, you dumbass, just click on the attributes you want for the spell. Oh, okay, I got it to work. I'm hopping in the portal. Guys, I already found a boss's base. I'm going to go steal their shit. Yo, Obama, wait for me. I forgot something from the base. Ah, oh, I think we might be stuck in this dimension. The portal isn't working. Well, how the hell are we supposed to get out of here, then? Guys, I'll just call Bill. I'm pretty sure he's online right now. No, don't call Bill. He's probably busy hanging out with human traffickers. Shut the f*** up, Donald. We all know that you're the one who hanged out with that And by the way, I already called Bill. He should be here any minute now. Shit. Hey, guys, I joined the server. Bill, I thought you were busy with your human trafficking business. Shut the f*** up, Donald. We all know that you use your billionaire status to grab women by the put. Bill, you dumbass. At least the baddies that I pull actually give consent and are of age, unlike the ones that you and are into. Guys, stop arguing. We just need Bill to grab some resources from the base to make an ender chest. Obama, how the hell is an ender chest going to help us get out of here? We can have Bill throw it through the portal and then put our items inside it so we can kill ourselves without losing our inventories. Oh, that makes sense. Guys, I just found a shit ton of coca leaves. I'm going to make some crack cocaine and sell it to Joe's son. Shut the f*** up, Donald. My son is now a recovered addict thanks to my support. You probably don't even care about your 20 sons that you've had with 30 different women. Joe, your son literally posted a video of himself butt-ass naked smoking a crack pipe during rehab. Holy shit, you are a dumbass. Your sentences don't even make sense half the time. Please take your dementia medication. F*** you, Donald. Guys, I made the ender chest. I'm going to throw it through the portal. Okay, I got it. I'm going to go back to the overworld and start working on a new base. All right, Joe, sounds good. Our current base is kind of shit, to be honest. Guys, I'm going to kick Bill out now that we have no use for him anymore. Yeah, bro, kick Bill out. He's acting very sus right now. F*** you guys. I swear I'm going to have you all s*** just like what me and Hillary did to F***. Holy f shit, guys. If I suddenly show up dead in a jail cell, it's definitely going to be the Clintons that did it. Yeah, bro, I got your back if anything happens. Yeah, me too. I'll make sure that your prison cell is actually guarded this time. Shut the f*** up, Joe. I am not going to prison. We all know that Alvin Bragg is a little bitch with fake criminal charges. Nah, bro, you just caught like 34 felonies. You're not getting off on that. Your mom gay? Guys, I think I just found the WEF's headquarters in Davos. I'm pretty sure Klaus Schwab is in there. All right, I'm on my way. Let's beat his ass up. He owes me money for promoting his shitty ideas. Yeah, guys, please rough him up. He was supposed to pay me for showing up to his stupid-ass WEF meetup, but he never did. Damn it, Joe, did Jill give you too much wine? You're starting to sound very stupid. Shut the f*** up, Donald. This is how I always sound. By the way, the new base is almost finished. Well, I hope you took your dementia medication, because people with dementia tend to be shitty builders. Guys, stop arguing. Let's just hurry up and get our money back from Klaus Schwab. Agreed. Donald, please help me. I'm being attacked by a bunch of QAnon shamans. Obama, how the f*** would the QAnon shaman be in this game? I don't know, but they appear to be causing an insurrection, so I'm going to open fire upon them. No, don't shoot them, you dumbass. They're just peacefully protesting. Leave them alone. Donald, you are stupid. They're literally attacking me with axes. No, they would never do such a thing. Guys, I think I found Klaus Schwab. I'm going to go beat his ass. All right, Donald, I'm on my way. I just have to deal with a few more QAnon shamans. All right, I'm pulling up to his room with my Glock. I'm pretty sure he's lacking right now. Okay, Donald, try not to die. I heard Klaus Schwab is a pretty tough boss. The urban legends say that one look at his creepy ass face is enough to cause great harm. Well, my Glock is doing a pretty good job on him, so I probably built up resistance after having to deal with Joe's ugly ass for so goddamn long. Oh, shit. You killed it. Nice. Grab its loot and let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, I can't wait to see what abomination Joe has built. The wine he drank earlier should have worn off by now. All right, I'm going to go raid some houses until he gets on. Hey, guys, I just joined back on the server. Yo, Joe, I'm guessing you had a lot of fun judging by how stupid you were the last time you were on here. Yeah, I ended up drinking even more wine and trying to have some freaky time with Jill, but it literally didn't work, so I just fell asleep instead. Yeah, that sounds about on par for Sleepy Joe. I'm coming back to the overworld right now. All right, come check out the base that I built. God damn it, Joe, how much of Mark Zuckerberg's DNC donation money did you spend to have this shit built? Shut the f*** 
up, Donald. You probably could have built an even nicer house if your dumbass still had the Stormy Daniels hush money. Bill Mal Donald, you just got roasted by Sleepy Joe. I'm coming back to the overworld right now. Shut the f up, Obama. We both know that Joe is 100% not capable of building this shit. Well, Mao, true, there is no way in hell he built this by himself. He probably had his 200 advisors do it for him. Guys, the fact of the matter is that this house is very good and will help us with our future endeavors. I can promise you that my administration will work tirelessly to make progress on these fronts. Joe, you dumbass, it is so f***ing obvious that you're using a teleprompter right now. Whatever, let's keep making progress. I'm going to start building a runway so we can send bombers at our enemies. Great idea. Holy shit, guys, I just found Hunter Biden's crack cocaine stash who wants to smoke it with me. Shut the f*** up, Donald. Those are not for Hunter. I only crafted those because they give good buffs. Oh, sh you're right. Maybe I'll have to start smoking crack butt ass naked in a bathtub like your son to get the full effect. Well, Mal, I didn't even know there was a crack mod on this server. Donald, let me try some. Yeah, Donald, save some for me, too. All right, I put some in the safe. Guys, I made a helipad. If you want your own private helicopter, I can take a couple that we seized from Sam Bankman Freed. Let me get one. Yeah, get me one, too, Joe. All right, I just made the order to the FBI. The helicopter should be delivered soon. Well, who would have thought that we would be straight balling in a Minecraft server? Shut up, Donald. You sound f***ing stupid. Stop talking like that. F*** you, bitch. Yo, Donald, why did you put a lever in the middle of the base? Joe, I didn't place a lever down, you dumbass. Well, Mao, Joe, I knew you were stupid. Get f***. That's what you get for kicking me instead of banning me, you nerds. Bill, how are you here, and what the hell are you talking about? Oh, no, no, f shit. Balls, Bill blew up the whole f***ing base. God damn it, I spent so much of my time building that shit. F Holy f***. It looks like the aftermath of the time I dropped the Moab bomb on Afghanistan. Shit, I gotta ban Bill. Yo, Joe, stop malding. We can just buy another mansion with the laundered Ukraine money and Sam Bankman freed seized assets. Yeah, I'm not that mad. At least Bill didn't s*** me like him and his wife did to f*** No, f*** that I'm getting off. I'm never playing this bullshit game ever again. Yeah, I'm getting off too. My husband, Michelle, wants me to give him a hand job. All right, whatever, guys. I'm just gonna go reapply my orange-hued makeup. I have a Trump rally coming up in a few hours, and I need to hide my old ass deteriorating face. Yo, Obama, want to hop on the server? Joe, I thought you said you wasn't going to play Minecraft ever again. Did you forget to take your dementia pills? Nah, bro, I was able to build back better thanks to the Mark Zuckerberg's DNC donation money, so I'm not mad anymore. Oh, my God, Joe, you actually did build back better. You even finished my runway so I can send drone strikes. Yeah, I'm going to message Trump and see if he can get online. Lumal Joe, why do you want me to get on Minecraft? I thought you hate that game. Shut up, Donald. Just get on the server. I sent the coordinates of the new base in the Discord chat. All right, whatever, Joe. I'm getting on now. Guys, we got to focus on getting back our stuff that Bill blew up. I'm going to go get some materials for some guns. All right, I'm going to get some materials on the way to the base. Okay, I'm going to craft some more crack cocaine because Bill blew up the stash. Nice, Joe. Make sure to craft some for me because I always make sure to smoke some before posting delusional shit on my Truth Social platform. Well, Mal, True Donald, the shit you post on Truth Social is funny but sad at the same time. Yeah, I always wondered how much crack Donald smoked before deciding to create his own Trump superhero NFTs. Shut the f*** up, Joe. My Trump digital trading cards are the best NFTs ever made. I already made like $13 million in sales. Donald, those are some rookie numbers. My book sold 890,000 copies in a single day, and they actually serve a purpose, unlike your $700 PNG files. Oh, Mao, who the hell would pay $700 for a PNG image that just goes to show how stupid your supporters are? Shut the f*** up, Joe. At least the people that vote for me are actually alive. F*** you, bitch. Guys, I think I just found a cult. It looks like they're performing some sort of satanic ritual. Donald, are you sure they're not Trump supporters? The last time I thought I found a cult, it just turned out to be a Trump rally. Shut up, Obama. We all know that the Democrats are the most cult-like group out there, but seriously, I think we should raid them. They probably have some good gear. All right, I'm going to make some weapons then. What type of rifle and pistol do you want? Get me a 45 ACP and a DMR. Obama, I'm more of a Glock and shotgun type of person. Let me get one of those. All right, guys, I made a Glock 45 ACP DMR and an 870 shotgun. I put it in the safe. Come grab them. All right, I marked the cult's location. I'm on my way to the base. All right, I'm going to scout out the cult's base with my plane. Let me know when you guys are ready to attack. Yo, Joe, Trump is at the base. We should be ready to attack now. Holy shit, Obama. These are some nice guns. They're so much better than the pea shooters we were using last time. Yeah, I agree. This Glock actually looks like a Glock this time, unlike the pixelated Nerf gun we were using before. 
Joe, I'm surprised that you can actually tell that it's a Glock and not an AR-14 assault rifle or whatever the hell you think an assault rifle is. Shut up, Donald. I'm being sensible. There is no valid reason for an American to own an AR-14 assault rifle. They are literally weapons of war. Joe, I'm going to have to agree with you, but uh, you sound stupid. The gun is called an AR-15 assault rifle, you dumbass. Nah, both of you are stupid. The AR stands for Armalite Rifle, not Assault Rifle, and they are not weapons of war. No one is going to take a semi-auto sporting rifle to the battlefield, you dumbasses. Well, the AR-15 does seem to kill a lot of innocent people for not being a weapon of war, doesn't it? I've said this in the past, and I'll say it again, even a 9 millimeter round can blow a lung out of the body. Real men like me use 12-gauge shotguns, while MAGA crybabies use their small dick rifles to kill a squirrel. Joe, if you think that a 12-gauge shotgun causes less damage than a 9 millimeter round, I'm not even going to bother arguing with your dumbass. Let's just go bomb these cultists already. Oh, Mal Donald has a point. Your 12-gauge shotgun argument is pretty shit, to be honest. Obama, you're supposed to be on my side. Stop giving in to Donald's misinformation tactics. It is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't. All right, I'm posted up at the north side of the cult camp. Where are you guys? I'm at the west side of the camp. The gate is open. I'm going to go through it when we start the raid. Okay, I'll take the east side then, Donald. We'll start the raid on your mark. Just shoot your gun to signal us. All right, we'll start in three, two, one. Okay, give them hell, boys. Don't let them get close. All right, I'm mowing them down with my AK, but we need to watch out for their poison and teleportation attacks. Bro, I can't even hit them. They just keep teleporting away, and they do so much damage. Wait, f I died. Oh, well, Mal, I died too. We didn't even stand a chance. There's just too many enemies in there. Well, I guess we're going to have to resort to war crimes, then let's retreat for now and discuss this matter back at the base. Donald, what the hell do you mean by war crimes? I can't imagine what underhanded acts you're planning in your messed up ass head right now. Obama, don't worry about it. Let's just say that it's a trump card that will guarantee us victory. Donald, if my idea of what you're planning is any accurate, you better not do it. That's too messed up, man. Nah, bro, I think you got the wrong idea. Let's just go back to the base already. All right, we're all here at the base. Can you care to explain what your plan is now? Yeah, Donald, what the hell are you planning right now? All of this suspense is killing me. Okay, guys, we're going to craft some intercontinental nuclear ballistic missiles and launch them straight at their base. Let's go mine some uranium-235 and some plutonium-239. God damn it, Donald. I knew you were going to do some crazy shit like this, but that sounds pretty fun, so I'll allow it. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty good plan, but why don't you just call your boyfriend Vladimir Putin to lend you a few missiles? I don't feel like mining. Shut up, Obama. We all know that I have no relations with Vladimir Putin, like how Joe Biden has relations with Xi Jinping. Shut the f up, Donald. Xi Jinping is not my boyfriend. Let's just hurry up and mine some materials for the missiles. I'm going to start working on a missile silo and a control tower. All right, Joe, I'm going to mine some uranium and plutonium for the missile. Yo, Donald, can you go do something useful, please? OK, I'm going to craft the missile booster. And casing Obama, you're in charge of crafting the warheads. Try not to die from radiation poisoning, please. OK, I'll try not to die, but I'm not experienced with handling highly radioactive substances, so I might have to call George Bush. I'm pretty sure he knows a thing or two about weapons of mass destruction. Obama, you better be joking. If Bush joins, he's going to do the same thing that Bill did, if not worse. Yeah, Obama, don't you even think about inviting Bush. There is no way in hell that I'm going to rebuild the house for a third time. Relax, you nerds. I'm not inviting Bush. And shut the f up, Joe. Stop acting like you built that house. You probably didn't even place a single block in that whole house. Obama, you are spitting straight facts. All right, I got 25 uranium-235 and 15 plutonium-239. That should be enough to craft a few Minuteman three ICBMs. All right, I'm finished with the silos and the control tower. Donald, are you done crafting the missiles? Yeah, I have six ICBM missiles. I just got to add the warheads, and we should be good to go. All right, I made the warhead. I'm putting them in the missiles right now. OK, Joe, get in the tower and get ready to press the big red button, but don't press it now. What button? God damn it, Joe. I'm talking about the only big red button in the tower you have to be trolling. There is no way you are this stupid. Oh, I found it. I'm going to press it right now. No, don't press it. What the f Joe? I didn't calibrate the navigation systems. Now it's going to drop right on us. Shit. We got to get in the bunker. Are you f***ing kidding me? There is no way in hell I'm building this base again, shit. Joe, you cannot be serious, goddammit. Nah, bro, I'm just joking. You're lucky I calibrated it, though. If I hadn't, our base would have actually been nuked. Please take this experience as a lesson to not be so stupid. F*** you, Donald. I'm still going to hide in my bunker just in case, though. Well, Mao, it looks like Donald the Bunker Boy is hiding in his bunker again like he did during the June White House protest.
Shut up, Obama. I never wanted to hide in the bunker, but my Secret Service made me do it for security reasons. Donald, we all know that is a lie. Stop the cap. All right, the missile should have made impact by now. Let's get in our planes and see if the cultists are still alive. Lamau, imagine if nothing happened and all of our work was all for nothing. Bro, I'd be so f mad if that happened, but at least this time I have a sniper, so if I have to deal with those teleporting p I just shoot them from a mile away. Well, Mao, if we just crafted snipers from the start, we probably wouldn't have had to nuke them. Nah, nuking them is a lot more funnier than just shooting them, to be honest. Obama, that is true. I can't wait to see the aftermath of the explosion. I'm almost there, so I'm going to land early. All right, I'm going to land too. Hey, Joe, how close are you? Guys, I crashed my plane into a tree. I think I might be lost. Damn it, Joe, you cannot be f***ing serious. Just use your map and walk your fat ass to the site. You probably need to get some exercise anyway. Donald, I know damn well that your fat orange ass did not just tell me that I need exercise. You're literally a billionaire that still eats Big Macs. You also seem to forgot that the NYPD revealed your weight when you got indicted and your fat ass weighed in at 270. You better sit your obese ass down before you get a heart attack. Holy shit, Joe, you just went off on him. But yeah, why the f would Trump's fat ass be educating others on weight? What a dumbass. F*** you guys. Yo, guys, I think it's safe to say that we got them. Holy shit, guys, we might actually be tried for war crimes after this. We got to lay low for a while. Yeah, Joe, the whole jungle is missing. How the hell can a few small missiles cause all of this damage? Well, it's good that the jungle is missing because I don't want my kids to be raised in a racial jungle. Damn it, Joe, I'm going to need you to take your dementia medication. You're starting to say racist shit again. Stop doing that. Obama, what are you talking about? But when Joe doesn't take his meds, he starts to say racist shit. It's a phenomenon that's been going on for years, and we don't know why he does that. If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or for Trump, then you ain't black. God damn it, Joe, if you say one more of your racist quotes, I swear I'm going to come over there and backhand your ass. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. All right, guys, I'm leaving because I have shit to do, Joe. You're lucky that I'm feeling nice today. Yeah, I'm going to leave, too. I'm done dealing with your shit today, Joe. All men and women are created by you. You know the thing. Yo, Obama, you want to hop on the Minecraft server? Yeah, I'm going to message Joe. He's online right now. All right, I just got finished making a farm. Now we can cultivate crops. Nice, Donald. Now we can make bread. I was getting tired of raiding villages for their wheat. Oh, we're going to make a shit ton of bread, but I'm not talking about the eating kind. I don't know what you mean by that, but I just messaged Joe, and he said he can get on the server. All right. Yo, guys, I joined the server. I'm still at the blast site. All right, come to the base, Joe. Yo, Donald, where is the garden you were talking about? It's right here. Come check it out. I got a pretty good variety of plants growing in there. God damn it, Donald. What the hell is this? I thought you were growing wheat. Nah, bro. This is a lot better. We're going to start our own cartel business. I even built a few vehicles to help us deliver crack cocaine. Donald, that's actually a pretty good idea. I also see that you invited Rick Ross to help sell our product. Yeah, he's pretty experienced at selling cocaine. Yo, Joe, where are you at? I need you to go to the nearby villages and get them hooked on our product. I'm almost at the base, Donald, but who is going to buy our product? I have no idea how I'm going to sell this to nearby cities. We're going to do the same thing that the CIA did in the 1980s, which is intentionally flooding the inner cities with hard drugs in order to cause political instability, which will increase our sphere of influence. Oh, yeah, we can also sell it to your son. I'm sure he will be a very loyal customer. Donald, please shut the fuck up about Hunter. But, yeah, that sounds pretty good. If that strategy worked for the CIA, it should work for us. All right, guys, I'm going to harvest some cocaine and mix it with sodium bicarbonate to make crack. Donald, go use your businessman skills to hire some hitmen that can deliver our product and carry out attacks on our ops. All right, I'm going to go look for some people that can serve as our Secret Service. Sounds good. Okay, guys, I just hired some corrupt Secret Service from a nearby village. Yo, Obama, how much product do you have? I got like seven bricks of cocaine, which is equivalent to about a one-month supply for Joe's son. We should be able to make a shit ton of money from selling this. Yo, Joe, have you found any crackheads that want to buy it? Guys, can you please stop telling that overused hunter joke? But yeah, I found a guy that definitely partakes in hard drugs. He literally has deformities all over his body and looks like an average person from Portland, Oregon. Well, that's probably because your dumbass Democrat buddies decriminalized hard drugs in Oregon. What the hell did you think was going to happen? Donald, thanks to our Democrat policies, the people of Oregon can now safely go to rehab without being labeled as criminals. There is no reason for someone that's struggling with addiction to get locked up in prison, you dumbass. Tell me, Obama, who the f*** would go to rehab when you can just do as much drugs as you want with zero consequences? Holy s***. This is why the addiction rates are so high in blue states. You Democrats are ruining the country. 
Donald, the state with the highest addiction rate is West Virginia, which is Republican. I'm going to need you to stop watching Tucker Carlson and Jesse Waters. I'm pretty sure all of that misinformation is rotting your brain. Guys, stop arguing so we can start making some money. I'm going to go to the base and make some crack vending machines that we can distribute to nearby villages. Oh, my God, Joe, you actually have a good idea for once. Let's go do that. Yo, guys, I think the FBI is outside of our house. They probably found the weed farm shit. We got to get our guns. Damn it, Donald. They're probably here for the top secret classified documents that you stole while you were in office. Shut the f*** up, Obama. A president cannot steal classified documents while in office. And these people outside aren't the FBI. I just got a better look at them, and they look like the cultists that we nuked a while back. Shit, we got to get rid of them. All right, Donald, go tell your Secret Service to help me. I'm going to go down there, yo, Joe. We need you to come back. Our base is being raided by the cultists. Nah, bro, I don't feel like coming back to the base. I'm just going to stock the vending machines so we can make money. F*** you, Joe. If our shit gets overrun, it's your fault, whatever. If we just commit some more war crimes, we should be able to take care of them. Obama, what type of war crimes are we supposed to commit? We can't nuke them this time. Don't worry, Donald, I have a plan. I just crafted a few imprisonment devices and put them in the chest. Let's go kidnap as many of them as possible. Whatever, Obama, I have no idea what you're planning, but it better be good. Nah, it's going to be good. We're going to use a traditional CIA technique to make sure that they don't raid us again. All right, Obama sounds good. I think I found their leader. I'm going to capture it. Where do you want me to put it? Just put them in one of the chests. I'll move them later. We have basically secured the W. There's only a few more left. All right, nice, Obama. I'm going to put the captured enemies in the safe. Yo, Joe, can you come back now? The raid is almost over. Yeah, I'm coming back to the base. I already made like 35K selling to a bunch of crackheads. They're literally fighting each other over it. Well, Maljo, stop capping. We all know you didn't just make 35K in two minutes. You probably just withdrew some of your laundered Ukraine money. Shut the f*** up, Obama. These Portland people really love their crack cocaine. They already bought up all of the stock, and my $20 billion in Ukraine money hasn't even been fully laundered yet, so I can't use any of it. Whatever, Joe, just come back to the base. We need to use some of that money to fund a prison for the enemies that we captured. All right, Obama. Yo, I just got finished building a CIA black site. Are you guys ready to interrogate the suspects? Obama, how are we supposed to interrogate them? Do we just ask them questions? Nah, just follow me. I built a CIA-style torture chamber so we can waterboard them and give them third-degree burns. I even built some one-way glass for maximum sensory deprivation. Guys, I'm not too sure about this. Don't you think this is a little messed up? Joe, what the hell do you expect from someone that directed the CIA to kill a 16-year-old American that lived in Yemen? Well, Mal Donald, that's true, but stop acting like you're any better than Obama. You literally had an eight-year-old shot and killed in a Yemen strike. Joe, stop with the fake news. Let's just hurry up and interrogate these cultists so we can figure out who they are. Well, Mal Donald, good job changing the subject like a true politician, but Michelle needs me for something. I'll be right back. You and Joe can do the interrogation. All right, whatever, Obama, yo, Joe, let's interrogate this cultist. Go ask it a question or something. Okay, um, hello, sir. I'm going to need you to tell me who you work for or we're going to have to waterboard you. Please don't waterboard me, guys. I swear I don't know anything. And that's on gang no cap. Well, Mal Donald, why is this pillager actually talking? What the hell type of mod is this? Holy shit, what the hell? I have no clue why it's talking, Joe. It's probably that chat GPT super AI bullshit that's going to take over the world in a few years. Well, it doesn't matter what it is, but what I do know is that it better tell me who it works for or it's getting waterboarded. All right, fine. I'll tell you guys everything I work for the cult of Andrew Tate. And our headquarters is at coordinates 800 and 265 minus 4,500. All right, that's funny and all, but I find that hard to believe, so I'm going to waterboard you for lying to us. Glub, 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 gurgle, 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 help, I'm drowning. Listen here, you little shit. If you want to stop being waterboarded, you better tell us who you work for. And if you don't, then we're going to hit you with the MK Ultra Special. I already told you I work for Andrew Tate, the top G, and he's going to punish you with his almighty powers for doing this to his loyal follower. All right, I'm done dealing with this guy's bull****. I'm going to have my good friend Putin send him to the gulag. Yo, Joe, let's interrogate someone else. Nah, bro, I think having my good friend Xi Jinping send him to the Chinese Uyghur Muslim internment camps would be better. Am I true? The shit that goes on in the CCP internment camps is pretty crazy, not going to lie. Yo, Joe, who should we interrogate next? Let's interrogate their leader. He probably knows the most information. All right, I put him in the box. Let me ask the questions this time, and you can control the torture devices. All right, sounds good, Donald. Hello, sir. We work with the CIA, and we're going to perform some enhanced interrogation techniques unless you tell me who you work for. Nah, f*** you, bitch. I ain't snitching on my homies. You got me f***ed up. All right, Joe, hit the burner. It appears we have a wannabe gangster over here. 
Okay, Donald, I hit the burner, but I don't think it did anything. God damn it, Joe, that's the button for opiate painkillers, not the burner, you dumbass. We're only supposed to use that one when he starts dying from shock. Shit, my bad, Donald. I hit the burner now and it's working. Ow, oh, it burns. Please make it stop. I'll tell you everything. All right, well, get on with it then, buddy. Well, now get baited, nerds. I ain't saying shit. No one cares about your cringe torture tactics. We are all trained to handle this. All right, f*** this, Joe. I give up with this interrogation bullshit. I'm not as proficient in CIA torture like Obama is because of what he learned in Yemen. Facts, Donald. It's been like four episodes and we still haven't gone to the end. We need to do that. Joe, that's a good idea. I also have a suspicion that the cult originated from the end because of their purple clothing. We need to go to the end and search for any signs of cult activity. All right, sounds good, Donald. I'm going to go get the materials for some Eyes of Ender. Okay, Joe, I'm going to go look for a dragon. Donald, what the hell are you talking about? We have to go to the end to defeat the Ender Dragon. Uh, dragon these nuts across your face, Lamal. But seriously, there's a dragon mod that lets us tame dragons in the overworld, so I'm going to look for one. Donald, you are such a boomer. That joke is so old, but that also sounds pretty cool. So I'm going to look for one, too. Yo, guys, I'm back on the server. Did the interrogation work? Obama, you've been gone for like three minutes. I'm guessing your husband's big man hands got you revved up during that quickie. Shut the f*** up, Donald. Me and Michelle were just running some errands. You're just mad that Melania doesn't let you hit it anymore, El Bozo. Yo, guys, I got to get off Jill, and Kamala says that it's time for me to sign some bills into law, but I can get back on tomorrow. Damn it, Joe. I hope it's not another bill to incarcerate black Americans for small crimes like the 1994 crime bill that you sponsored a while back. And seeing that Kamala Harris, the weed punisher that convicted 2,000 people for marijuana possession is involved, doesn't make me feel any better. Shut the fuck up, Donald. We all know that me and Kamala has changed our views on marijuana since then, but whatever I'm leaving for now. For fuck's sake, guys, I literally just got back on the server like 10 seconds ago and we're already leaving. Well, if you haven't had some freaky time with your husband, maybe you would have been able to play more Minecraft, but now I'm getting off because I have to go roast Ron DeSantis for dissing me in his new ad campaign. Oh, f*** you, Donald. I hope DeSantis wins the nomination. That would be funny as shit if you didn't even make it to the primaries. Yo, Donald, let's hop on Minecraft. I already invited Joe. He should be here in a few minutes. Sure, Obama, the weed that we harvested last time should be dried by now. True, Donald, I'm going to go check out the farm. We need to restock the vending machines. We don't have nearly enough supply to meet the demand for it, so maybe we should catch up with the current cartel meta and lace it with fentanyl. El Mao, true, but I think the new meta strategy is carfentanil, which is 100 times as potent as fentanyl, so maybe we should learn to synthesize that instead. Wait, what the fuck? Donald, what happened? Holy shit. Someone built a one-to-one -one replica of the U.S. Capitol building right in front of our base. Let's go take it over and make it our base. Oh, no, Donald, don't tell me you're going to attempt to overthrow the U.S. government again like January 6th. But seriously, what the hell is this? There is no way any of us would be able to build this. True, it was probably Joe and his 200 advisors that have total control over his demented ass. I think we should issue a temporary ban on Joe for cheating. Nah, don't ban Joe. He should be on in a few minutes, and we should let him explain himself. Yo, guys, I just got on the server. Jill said I can stay up past my bedtime tonight because I'm flying to Delaware tomorrow. Joe, you visited Delaware 57 times within a 184-day period. How about you start acting like a president and stop vacationing to Delaware? But anyway, there's a giant U.S. Capitol building outside. Do you know anything about it, Joe? Nah, bro, that ain't me. Bullshit, I know me and Trump didn't build it, so who else could it be? Maybe you forgot because of your dementia. Can you racist, homophobic, transphobic, xenophobic, sexist, misogynistic, bigoted old hags shut the fuck up already? You guys are so annoying. It was me who built the Capitol, you nerds, and it was Sleepy Joe who invited me onto this server. Joe, why the fuck would you invite Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez? I'm guessing you're just trying to sniff her hair again like you do with any women or baby that you come in contact with. Well, Mal Donald, you're spitting straight facts. Joe's definitely just trying to get a sniff. Shut the fuck up, you guys. I don't sniff hair. It's not like there's multiple instances of video evidence that shows me sniffing hair from different women. AOC, please help me combat their misinformation. Yeah, Joe is right, guys. He would never do such a thing. Trump is the one that abuses his authority to grab women by the pussy. AOC, I'm going to need you to use your inside voice. And if Joe wants to invite a Democrat clown, it's only fair that I invite a Republican one as well. Give me a few minutes. I got to make a call. Donald, I'm pretty sure Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell is still in the hospital for brain injury after falling from being old as shit, so he can't join. 
Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I was going to invite Mitch to the server. Wait, guys, I found AOC in the house chamber. I'm going to hit her with my bop, 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 bop. Oh, my, get teabagged. Fuck you, Donald. You have the mental maturity of a 12-year-old, you bitch. Well, Mal keep molding plus El Bozo, plus Ratio, plus Red Pill, plus Cardi Better, plus Cope Harder, plus Bizui Nicho Lu, De Pigu Shao, Kao Shao, Kao Ji Ben Juo, De Ying Pi Gu Shi Mei, Yu Jia Huo De Tong, Xing Lian Tong, Xing Lian Pi Gu Wu, Nao Ji Jiang De Hun Dan, Nin Mei Yu. Guys, can we please do something useful so we can actually make some progress? Like, what are we even supposed to do with this Capitol building? We need to go to the end. True, Obama, I'm going to go look for Enderman so we can get some pearls. You're joking. You go to the nether? Nah, my teleprompter is saying that I should instead use some of the money we made from selling crack to buy eyes of Ender, so I'm going to go to the base and buy some. It will be much faster than getting the materials. Well, now, true, Joe, I'm going to run some more crack with the planes that we made. You and AOC can go to the end and defeat the dragon. It should be easy because of our guns. All right, Obama, sounds good. Obama, why does it smell like burnt Vaseline and condoms in here? I'm guessing you and your husband, Michelle, were getting it on today. Donald, get the fuck out of my room. I told you not to go in there. You're probably stealing my stuff. Nah, bro, I just got to borrow some bread from your chests because I'm almost out of food, but I didn't take anything else. Donald, stop capping. You probably looted my whole room. You better put that shit back or I'm going to turn the whole base into Yemen. Obama, how are you going to turn our base into Yemen? We don't have any Afghan weddings or mental health institutions for you to target with drone strikes. Fuck you, Donald. At least our base is safe from you and Joe because there is no eight-year-old Afghan children for you to strike with missiles or for Joe to sniff. But anyway, yo, Joe and AOC, have you guys reached the end yet? Yeah, Obama, I'm in the stronghold right now. Hey, AOC, where are you at? I need you to help me look for the portal. Yo, guys, I found Trump washed up on the beach. I shared my screen in the Discord chat. We got to help him get back into the ocean where he belongs. Well, Mao, AOC, that's too far. You didn't have to do Donald dirty like that. AOC, you are being very fat phobic right now, and I'm offended by your words, so I'm going to have to report you on Twitter and file an ethics complaint. Donald, I normally don't condone fat phobia, but if it's against fascist dictators like you, then it's different. Also, I'm going to get off because I have an interview with Seth Meyers and Trevor Noah scheduled in an hour. Lomau AOC, of course, it's Trevor Noah and Seth Meyers, two of the most stupid people on earth. The only person who could possibly be worse is Jimmy Kimmel. No, AOC, please don't get off the server. I can't take on the Ender Dragon by myself. Joe, you have like three guns. Just shoot the dragon, bro. Are you sure you're not just saying that because you haven't gotten your sniff yet? Lomau, Joe, it is so obvious how down bad you are, and it appears you will literally do anything just to get a sniff, even if it means being recorded on live television multiple times while doing it. Nah, guys, that's misinformation. I had PolitiFact.com and CNN do a fact check on that, and it turned out to be false. We all know that PolitiFact and CNN are never biased and are always right. But anyway, I'm hopping in the portal right now. Joe, you dumbass, PolitiFact and CNN are the most biased and phony sources out there. Patriot news sources such as Fox News, Tucker Carlson Tonight, and The Daily Wire by Ben Shapiro are the most accurate news sources that always tell the truth. Yo, guys, let me get some of the shit you're smoking. It must be the strongest stuff out there, judging by how brain dead you are. Just go kill the ender dragon already and get its egg so we can hatch it. Okay, Obama sounds good, but how do we hatch the egg? I don't know, Joe. Ask your teleprompter how to do it. I just know that there's a mod for hatching eggs. All right, Obama. God damn it, Donald, your fat ass clogged the toilet again. The whole house smells like shit. I'm going to need you to stop eating all of those Big Macs and filet fishes It appears that EDP-445, the cupcake slayer, has some competition. Obama, you're not funny. I eat McDonald's in moderation. You should try it sometime. It's actually pretty good. Yo, Joe, have you killed the Ender Dragon yet? Yeah, bro, I defeated the dragon. I'm grabbing the egg right now. My teleprompter said that we just need to place it on the ground and right-click it for it to hatch. All right, that sounds good, Joe. By the way, guys, I'm moving into the Capitol building. I'm almost finished making my office, and I also now declare myself Speaker of the House. Oh, hell no, Donald. You are not getting any government position, especially not without an election. If anything, I think I should be Speaker of the House because I'm the President. Guys, we should hold an election in the YouTube comments to decide who gets to be Speaker of the House. All right, that's fine. I'm just going to win because I'm the people's favorite President. And the 2020 election was stolen by the corrupt Democrats. Wait, who the hell is in my house? Good morning. Sunday morning. Yeah. God damn it, guys. Drunk Nancy is inside my house drinking our wine. Get the fuck out. You're like 80 years old. There's no way that could be healthy for you. Nah, fuck you, Donald. I'm actually 83 years old, and I'm rich as shit. 
because of my overpowered stock trading skills. Stay mad, El Bozo. You're just mad that I'm living it up at such an old age, unlike your fat ass that weighs 270 pounds. Well, now, drunk Nancy, I wish I could trade stocks as good as you. I'd be so rich. Facts, Obama. If I could trade like Nancy and Paul Pelosi, that would be so nice because I wouldn't have to rely on laundered Ukraine money. Oh, now all of you guys are broke. Imagine insider trading and still only being worth 120 million. Just build 19 golf courses like me and rack up the easy billions. Donald, stop acting like you're some sort of master businessman. You literally led six companies to bankruptcy, and it would have been much more if you hadn't been propped up by Russian money. Bitch, you didn't even write the art of the deal. Obama, that is true. He also inherited a $413 million fortune from his daddy. Nah, Joe, stop with the fake news. We all know I started my business with a small loan of a million dollars. Donald, stop the cap, but whatever guys I just made, 60K selling the cocaine from the vending machines, what should we spend it on? Yo, guys, let me get 7K so I can pay off my husband's DUI fees. Actually, make that 8K because I need to buy some wine, too. Nah, don't give drunk Nancy any money. She should just trade some NVIDIA stock to make easy money. But seriously, we can't be wasting money. We need to reinvest it into our cartel business. I have an idea, guys, yo, Nancy. I'll give you $7,000 and as much wine as you want if you can hire some employees from a nearby Colombian village to help us produce cocaine. Ooh. All right, Donald, that sounds good. I'm going to go fly to Colombia right quick. I'll be right back. Good idea, Donald. We can make a shit ton of money if we automate our farm and exploit our minimum wage workers. Yeah, Donald, that's a great idea. Also, I just found a modded end city with three ships, so we should all be able to get elytras now. All right, nice, Joe. Yo, guys, I'm back from Columbia. I just kidnapped a few underpaid and overworked employees from the Amazon. All right, Nancy, I put the payment in the safe. Come grab it. I got to get off because I need to promote my Trump digital trading cards, NFTs. Fuck you, Donald. All you do is grift on your social media, whatever I'm getting off. We've been playing for like three hours. I'm pretty sure Joe's old ass fell asleep already anyway. Now, Obama, my dementia pills just kicked in and I'm wired as shit. So I'm just going to go back to playing cultured games such as Doki Doki Literature Club. All right, guys, I'm going to go drink some more wine and trade some stocks. I might have to go all in on zero days till expiration GameStop call options. Yo, Obama, get your butt on the server. Guess who won the Speaker of the House election? Donald, we all know that you had the Russians interfere with it like 2016, and why are you saying, but, are you five years old or something? Nah, bro, if I swear within the first 15 seconds, then YouTube will demonetize the video. But anyway, can you invite Joe, please, so I can tell him that he lost the election? Also, it's been 15 seconds by now, so fuck you, Obama. Shut up, Donald. Stop being dumb. Joe is messing around in Delaware right now, so you're going to have to settle with former Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi. I just invited her to the server. Damn it, Obama, you shouldn't have invited her, but whatever. I guess my first action as Speaker of the House is to install a giant breathalyzer at the door of her office so she can't go inside unless she provides a breath sample. Oh, now, Donald, that's too far. Nah, I'm tired of her ass being drunk all the time and contributing nothing to the server. True, we should appoint her as the CIA director. I think that would be pretty funny. Oh, now, great idea, Obama. I'm going to do that when she gets on the server. Hi, I joined the server. I just made a few mil trading Apple stock. What are you guys up to? Apparently, Trump won the speaker election, but we all know that that shit is rigged. All of the comments that voted for him are bots. There is no way that this orange slob won the election. The YouTube algorithm probably recommended the video to a bunch of Trump tards that voted for him. We all know Obama should have won. Guys, I'm going to need you to stop exhibiting bitch-like behavior. Nancy, I have appointed you as the CIA director. Your job is to investigate the cult that attacked our base a few days ago. All right, Donald, that sounds good. I'm going to send some field agents to look around for cult activity. Wait, why can't I enter my office? What the hell did you do? I installed a breathalyzer that's hooked up to the electronic locks to your office, so you're going to have to provide a breath sample. So good luck getting in there drunk, Nancy. Fuck you, Donald. I'm going to go into your office and tear up your documents like I did during your State of the Union speech. Donald, just let her in the office. We need to make progress on the server instead of messing around. I'm going to go make a shit ton of guns so we can start illegally trafficking weapons to foreign countries. Great idea, Obama. Getting into the arms trafficking industry will help expand our cartel business. Yeah, but we need to give it a name. I think the Black Sun Cartel would be a fitting name. Nah, bro, that name is something a 13-year-old edgelord on 4chan would come up with. I think the America First MAGA Cartel would be a better name. 
Al Mao, no Donald, that name is straight cringe. Let's just name it after the government or something. I'm thinking the NSA narcotic network would be good. That's actually pretty good, Obama. The NSA narcotic network has a ring to it, and it's named after the corrupt government, which is nice. All right, well, I guess it's settled then. I got to get off for a few minutes. Michelle needs me for something. All right, Obama. Yo, guys, I just joined the server. I'm currently on Air Force One, flying back to the White House from Delaware. Of course you are, Joe, but the election results are in, and I whooped your ass. How does it feel to lose? To be honest, I kind of expected to lose. It was torn between you and Obama, and I barely got any votes, but I'm still the president in real life, El Bozo. True, Donald is just mad that he lost the real election, so he decides to flex his Minecraft government position on us, El Mao. What a loser. Shut the fuck up, guys. Just wait until 2024 when I win the election and become the 45th and 47th president. Lamau Donald, that's not going to happen, but you'll still be my homie even when you lose. Guys, who the hell stole my ice cream? I swear if I find who did it, I'm going to pull up on them with my Glock. I don't know, Joe. It was probably Corn Pop that stole it. True, Corn Pop was a bad dude who ran a bunch of bad boys. Guys, emergency meeting. I repeat, emergency meeting. Come to the House chamber. I have some updates on the cult situation. All right, drunk Nancy, I'm on my way. This better be good. Yeah, I'm on my way, too. I can't wait to bomb these cultists. Yo, Joe, where are you at? I'm coming to the house chamber right now. I just found my ice cream in one of the chests. I forgot I left it there. All right, Joe, I just entered the house chamber drunk. Nancy is already here. I'm almost there. I also have some Secret Service following me. I think we should have them help us with the attack. True, Obama, if we create an army to help us, we should be able to defeat our enemies without having to resort to war crimes like last time. War crimes are kind of funny, though, not going to lie. But yeah, we need to stop because if we keep nuking them, we won't get any information. Yeah, I just got in the chamber and sat down. I'm just going to eat some ice cream. Don't mind me. Same, Joe. I just entered the chamber. I'm going to sit down. All right, Drunk Nancy. Everyone is here. You can tell us what you have now. It better be good and not a waste of time. All right, so a few hours ago, a large ship-like object that was located to the east appeared on our radar. So I took my plane to go check it out and confirm that it was indeed the cult. Their speed is approximately 28 knots, and they are traveling southeast. We must attack now before they get too far for the radars to pick up. Holy shit, Nancy, you actually did a good job on this. Let's go attack them now. We're going to bring an army with us this time. Nah, Donald, we can't do that, you dumbass. Nancy said that it's a ship and we don't have any vehicles to get an army on board. Let's just try to craft some better armor. Also, I have a few M60 machine guns at the old base. You guys can grab them. All right, guys, grab one of the elytras that I got from the end. We should jump out of our planes and use them to glide to the ship. Good idea, Joe. We're about to pull some CIA infiltration shit on our ops. I'm going to hop in the plane now. Okay, Donald, I'm going to make some better armor than hop in the plane. We only have two, so I guess Joe's going to have to walk rip. Uh, Obama, I'll just take a couple of the military planes that we left in Afghanistan when I pulled out too early. Well, that's surprising, Joe, because your family is known for pulling out too late, like when your mom had you and when you had your son, Hunter. Donald, you dumbass, 400,000 people died from COVID because of you. I think it's safe to say that you're the biggest mistake out of the three of us. Joe, it's so obvious you're using a teleprompter right now. We all know you can't remember statistics because of your dementia. And you even stuttered at the NL plus ratio. Guys, stop arguing. Let's just get to the ship already and defeat the cult. That's fine by me, Obama. Yo, guys, I see the yacht and it's big as shit. Where are you guys at? I want to start the attack. I'm around a thousand blocks away. Wait until we get there before you land on the ship. You're probably going to be the first person to die because you have zero skill. Shut the fuck up, Obama. You and Joe died within the first minute the last time we raided the cult while I stayed alive the whole time. Trump, I don't want to hear it. You literally camp on a hill and spam your DMR rifle while me and Obama actually had guns that require skill. But anyway, I'm almost at the ship. All right, whatever. I'm just going to start the attack now by kamikaze into their ship, Lumao Banzai. All right, Donald, please don't die. I'm approaching the ship, and I'm going to land at the port side to make entry. El Mao, guys, I just reached the yacht, and it looks like one of those big-ass diesel-powered boats that billionaire Bill Gates and his buddies uses to travel to climate change conventions. Obama, that is so true. I'm pretty sure it's just billionaire tradition at this point to take giant vehicles with big engines like private jets to climate change conventions. Yo, guys, I just found some weapons in a crate. If you guys find any, make sure to take them so we can sell them to Iraq. Nice, Joe. I'm going to look for some shit to steal from them, too. Yo, Obama, can you go look for some useful information? I think we have them beat. There shouldn't be many left. Sure, Donald, I'm going to look around. I don't see many left. This raid was actually kind of easy, not going to lie. 
Holy shit, guys, I just found a crate full of AK-47s. It appears we have some serious arms race competition. They are outproducing us by a lot. We got to do something about it and step up our game. All right, Joe, take the guns so we can sell them. I'm going to draw up some plans to increase our production rate when we get back to the base. I can promise you guys that the NSA Narcotic Network will be number one when it comes to producing illegal goods. Okay, sounds good, Donald. We can make like $300 a piece selling these AKs to Syrian rebel groups. Yo, guys, I just found a creepy-ass portal room. We got to hop in the portal. It might be able to lead us to their headquarters or something. Nice Obama. I'm on my way. Do you know what type of portal it is? Nah, bro, but I'm going to hop in and find out it looks pretty crazy, not going to lie. No, don't go in yet, dumbass. All right, whatever I guess I'm hopping into, yo, Joe. Hurry up, we're going in the portal. Okay, Donald, I'm hopping in the portal right now. Yo, Obama, what does it look like in there? Um, it's very dark and colorful in here, and I'm also lost with, with no way out. I don't see a portal to get back to the overworld. Nice going, Obama. You got all of us stuck in the shadow realm with a bunch of dangerous mobs. I even see Joe's fat-ass wife flying around back there. We might be fucked, not gonna lie. Now, stop being a bitch, Donald. Let's just go look around. We might be able to find something useful in here. Also, we should group up Yo Joe. Where are you at? I'm at coordinates 3,070 minus 4,000. What about you? Damn it, you're like 6,000 blocks away. This is dumb. I'd rather sell some more crack than have to deal with this shit right now. It's like every mob in this dimension is out to kill us. True, but we're going to have to deal with it. Let's start making our way towards the World Center. We need to see if there's any bases here that we can raid. Nah, I'm going to get off for now. Me and Michelle are going through it. She just dissed our marriage in a new CBS interview, and I'm mad as shit. Well, Mal, okay, Obama, my wife Melania would never do such a thing. Yo, Joe, do you want to keep playing on the server? Nah, I'm going to get off, too. My plane is going to land in like 30 minutes, and I got to roll out a new change that punishes people with good credit scores. So I'm just going to play some Genshin Impact in the meantime. Joe, that game is straight ass, you weeb. But whatever, I guess I'll just go back to dunking on Ron DeSanctimonious in my new email campaign. Yo, Donald, hop on the Minecraft server. I got some bad news. All right, what is it, Obama? YouTube just demonetized our biggest video. It appears they couldn't handle such based content, so we got to stop swearing. What the frick, man? I guess my company that edits these videos is going to go bankrupt like my other companies. No, we can still get paid. We just got to stop swearing like it's a COD lobby. We're also former presidents, so we can just sell ourselves out to people that want us to do paid speeches. True, we can make like 400K for each speech, El Mao. I'm going to message Joe and see if he can get on the server. All right, Donald, where are you at? I have an idea to get out of this dimension, but we need to kill some skeletons to get their heads. I'm at coordinates minus 3,260, minus 3,700. Also, why do we need skeleton heads? How is that going to help us? We're going to make a portal to Ukraine and spend some of our money to help our brother Volodymyr Zelensky win the war. Oh, hell no, Obama. You are not spending any of our hard-earned money to help Zelensky. And how are we supposed to make a portal to Ukraine? This is Minecraft. Just trust me, Donald. He's waiting for us in Kiev, and he asked for another $40 billion, so we got to go deliver it to him. Obama, are you high or something? We don't have $40 billion that we can donate to Ukraine. Nah, it's fine. We can just take out a loan and add to our national debt in order to afford it. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yo, guys, I just joined the server. We got to get out of this dimension. Yeah, go look for some skeleton heads so we can make a portal to the Ukraine. Zelensky is waiting for our arrival right now. All right, Obama, I didn't know that there was a portal for that, but that sounds good. I'm going to donate some of my stuff to help out with the war. Oh, Mal, you guys are stupid, but yeah, let's just drain our military and resources to help a country that has no use to us. Great idea. Shut up, Donald. We all know you just want your boy Vladimir Putin to win so you can get paid more Russian oligarch money. Nah, bro, if I was President Putin, wouldn't have had the balls to invade Ukraine. Our country looks so weak right now because of the radical left. Nah, you're dumb. Putin invaded because he knew that his dictatorship is at risk because of our Democrat policies that are tough on Russia. Stay mad, Omao. Mao. Nah, Obama, you dumbass Putin would have never tried anything while I was in office because I told him that I would bomb Moscow if he did. And it looks like he took my advice because he didn't invade while I was president. Nah, he just didn't invade because his boyfriend was president at the time and he got mad because Joe wouldn't become his puppet. Yo, guys, come to my coordinates. I just found a giant floating palace. Let's go raid it. There's probably a bunch of loot inside it. All right, Joe, I'm on my way. Yo, Donald, come help us so we don't die. Okay, Obama. Guys, I reached the floating island. I'm going to start quick scoping the guards. Uh... All right, I'm almost there, Joe. Go look for a bed so we can make a portal. Okay, Donald, I'll look for some beds. There isn't many enemies up here, so this should be easy. All right, Joe, I'm going to go look for some diamonds then because we need 18 to make the portal. 
Now, you don't need to mine diamonds. I already bought some with the money we made from our cartel. Wait, if you can buy diamonds with the money, why don't you just buy skeleton heads and a bed for the portal so we don't have to waste time gathering them? True, I'll just do that then. Joe, you dumbass, we have already spent like 30 minutes gathering materials. Let's just hurry up and go to Ukraine already. Okay, I guess we can just kill the boss later. I'm making the portal now. All right, Joe, I'm going to make an RPG because we might run into some Russian soldiers. Yo, Obama, where the hell are you? I'm grabbing the $40 billion in American tax money so we can send it to Ukraine. Okay, then, Joe, let's hop in the portal. We're not waiting for Obama's stupid ass. All right, I just placed down the portal. I'm going in it now. It should take us to the city of Kherson. Joe, what the fuck? Kherson is literally occupied by Russia. How the hell is the three of us supposed to fight the whole Russian military? Um, I don't know, but I see a convoy and a bunch of soldiers. I'm going to ask them for directions. Maybe they can help us. No, Joe, they're going to shoot you, you dumbass. We're literally in an active war zone with bombs going off everywhere. We need to capture them and steal their vehicles. Donald, with all due respect, your plan is straight ass. I think we should commit a war crime by wearing their uniforms and acting like Russian soldiers. Well, I'm going to have to veto that because your stage five dementia will instantly get you caught. Stop acting like a bitch already and just shoot them with your sniper. Okay, fine, Donald, we'll do it your way. But if Putin orders a hypersonic missile strike on us, it's your fault. I'm going to try to capture a few so we can do CIA torture on them. All right, Joe, I'm going to blow up the bridge with my U.S. supplied rocket launcher. Wait, holy shit, guys, I know what we should do. Okay, what is it, Donald? Guys, we should take over this city and start a dictatorship with ourselves at its center. We can use these buildings to house our new country's inhabitants. Bro, you always come up with the craziest ideas. Now, I'm being serious, Obama. We can make a lot of money and progress through the server if we start our own country. True, Donald. I think making our own city would be a good idea. Yo, Obama, let's just use the $40 billion to fund our new infrastructure. Now, bro, I'm heading to Kiev right now to hand this $40 billion in tax money to my good pal, Volodymyr. Obama, you better get your ass back here right now. I'm going to need you to stop falling for the Nigerian prince scams. Nah, bro. Zelensky is a legit dude with no malicious intentions. He will make sure everyone gets their cut of the laundered money. I also just found a nice-ass Cadillac, so I'm just going to drive to Kiev. All right, whatever, Obama. Do whatever you want. I don't care. Yo, Sleepy Joe, come help me build a cocaine farm so we can fund a military strong enough to invade Russia. Nah, I'm going to go get some uranium and plutonium so we can make more nukes. All right, that's fine, Joe. Yo, Obama, when you get back, we need you to help build an aircraft factory so we can drop bombs on Yemeni villages. I know you have some experience in that sort of stuff. Donald, you bring that up every episode. How about you come up with something original, bitch? Okay, well, maybe I'll just joke about the other 542 drone strikes and 3,800 civilians that you killed while in office. Donald, you dumbass, stop acting like you have some sort of moral high ground. You literally led 238 drone strikes, and you even bombed Yemen more times in four years than I did in eight. Please stop projecting. Guys, please shut the hell up about your drone strike accomplishments before I hit you with my almighty Biden blast. Frick you, Joe. My Obama Hamiha is much stronger than your puny Biden blast. Now, you weaklings could never hope to parry my ultimate trump card. The Biden blast and Obama Hamaha will prove to be futile. Stop the cap, Donald. But anyway, I'm pulling up to the Ukrainian Kremlin right now. I don't know what the building is called, but I'm going to give the money to Volodymyr. Nice, Obama. I'm sure that money will be a great help to the war effort to protect democracy. Ukraine is definitely going to get the W. Nabro Russia is definitely going to win. And so is your guys' bank account when the money is done being laundered. Donald, stop with your bullshit. I'm going to talk to Volodymyr now. Yo, Zelensky, how's it going? I got the 40 billion that you requested. Please make sure 10% goes to the big guy. I will be thanking all of you in advance for powerful English planes. Of course, man, you know, I got you, homie. You can have as many planes as you want. Wait, why the hell did you leave the server? Well, Mao Obama, you just got scammed. You are so dumb. He's probably going to come back on the server later and put the 40 billion dollars in his ender chest. Oh, hell no. We are hereby declaring war on the countries of Ukraine and Russia. Yo, guys, get the nukes ready. We're going to blow up this off-brand Kremlin and establish our own dictatorship. All right, that's fine by me, Obama. Yo, Joe, get the missiles ready. We're going to bomb both of the Kremlins and start World War III. We also need to build a tank factory and a meth lab in order to create an army the world has never seen. Okay, sounds good, Donald. I'll have Nancy set up the Ministry of Truth to patrol the social media platforms in the form of fact-checkers in order to make sure that our citizens don't criticize the government. 
Joe, your teleprompter is a genius. Let's go do that. But we might have to call up the former DHS disinformation board leader, Nina Jankowicz, for help. Well, Mao, that's true, Donald. Nina Jankowicz is crazy as shit, which is exactly what we want when running an authoritarian state. Guys, stop with the fake news. Nina Jankowicz is a very fine woman, and DHS Secretary Mayorkas did a good job choosing her for the position. Joe, you dumbass. I'm going to need you to watch Nina Jankowicz's unhinged nursery rhyme TikTok post before you comment on whether she is qualified for the job. Yeah, Donald is spitting facts right now, not going to lie. Yo, guys, I just built four long-range ICBMs. I'm going to add them to our stockpile. Okay, nice, Joe. I just found a few broken MiG-21 fighter jets. I'm going to see if I can fix them up. Yo, Donald, have you finished the cocaine farm? We need some money. Yeah, Obama, the coca plants are ready for harvest. We should be able to make a few mil by selling this to nearby cities. All right, nice. We can use the money we make from the sale to hire some Wagner mercenaries to help with the invasion. Yo, Joe, can you tell your 200 advisors to build a giant bunker for us? Now, fuck you, Obama. I don't need my advisors to help me. I'm just going to ask my teleprompter for a bunker schematic. Okay, that's fine, Joe, but you better make sure it's a big bunker because it's going to serve as our capital building. No one is going to trust your dementia ass to build a decent base. Now, just trust me, bro. I'm going to build the most exquisite bunker known to humankind. El Mao Joe, good job using gender-inclusive language. I applaud you for doing your part for fighting sexism and refraining from using offensive words. Donald, your sarcasm is so funny that I forgot to laugh. Guys, I'm going to hop off the server. My wife, Jill, says that I need to go to bed because I have a flight tomorrow. Okay, Joe, I guess we can continue working on our server tomorrow. We should be able to launch our full-scale invasion pretty soon. All right, guys, I'm going to stay on the server and make some more money so we can recruit some people to help us invade Russia and Ukraine. Yo, Joe, get on the server. I need you to build us a new base so we can launch cruise missiles. Um, okay, I am logging on now, but I'm going to have to wait until my dementia medication kicks in before I start building. That's fine, Joe. Also, I installed the Morph mod while you and Obama were offline, so now we can turn into your fat wife for extra health points. Shut up, Donald. You weigh like 270, stop projecting. Nah, but seriously, we can turn into a blaze and fly. The Morph mod is very useful. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm going to turn into Obama. I'm pretty sure I have him unlocked. No, don't do that, Joe. You're going to get us canceled. Nah, bro, I won't get canceled. I have the mainstream media on my side, so I'll just tell them to not report it, just like all of the other questionable things I say. Well, you don't have Tucker Carlson on your side, so I'm going to call him up right now so he can expose your ass. Uh, Donald, I don't think you should call Tucker. He has a tendency to go on his unhinged rants, and with the free time he now has after being fired from Fox News, it's likely he'll do it again. Nah, bro, I just messaged him. He should be getting on soon. I think it's time we add some spice to our server. Bro, we already have one MAGA nut job on this server. We don't need two. You bitch, we have like four libtards on this server. It's about time I bring some balance. Maybe I'll have to invite Ron DeSanctimonious or Ben Shapiro next. Now, the elites would like to tell you that it is gay to be attracted to men who are incredibly feminine. Donald, I called it. Tucker is going on one of his rants again. What the hell is he even talking about? I am so confused. Well, Mao, I don't know either, but it's pretty entertaining, not gonna lie. Now, as any of our longtime viewers will know, it is, of course, straight for a man to be attracted to femininity. The elites, however, would never tell you this. Shut the hell up, Tucker. No one cares. Calm down. I'm just joking you, SJW. But anyway, how's it going, Joe? I don't get to talk to your senile ass very often. F*** you, Tucker. You better not start with that or I'm going to have to call Don Lemon to come roast you. Oh, no, please don't call Mr. Don Lemon at CNN. Don Lemon will definitely destroy the server. Well, now Mr. Don Lemon and his butt buddy Chris Fredo Cuomo would be pretty funny. Maybe I'll invite them next time. Nah, guys, we have to stop messing around. We need to build up our nuclear arsenal so we can launch it at Russia and start World War III. I'm going to get started on the bunker. I have a pretty good schematic. Okay, Joe, I'm going to go recruit some more PMCs to help us win the war. Yo, Tucker, go help Joe make the new bunker and make sure he doesn't go into creative mode because I know his dumb ass is going to try. Sure, Donald, I'll watch extra closely to make sure Joe doesn't receive 140,000 mail-in ballots at 4 a.m. Tucker, please stop peddling the QAnon election conspiracy theories. It would suck if you costed your employer another $787 million from defamation settlements. Joe, we all know that I got fired for being too based. I'm literally the reason people watch Fox News. Now, nah, bro, Jesse Waters and Sean Hannity are also pretty good as well, not gonna lie. But Louder with Crowder is the best one out of all of them. My wife Melania seems to disagree, though. Well, Mao, nice Donald. Yo, guys, I just got a Discord message from Obama. He might join the server. Wait, what the hell is this? People are waiting for relief. Yeah. I got them $1.9 trillion relief so far. 
They're going to be getting checks in the mail that are consequential this week for child care. I'm dead, bro. What the hell is even that, Joe? Is that the creepy-ass whisper that your daughter hears while you bathe with her, you weirdo? Oh, Mao, so true, yo, Joe. Why do you bathe with your own daughter? That's so weird. It appears that bro has been watching too much in anime. Shut the f up, guys. I don't bathe with my daughter. Her diary that she lost, which says I do, is all a hoax that was created by the Republicans. Cope Harder, we all know that it's as real as the Hunter laptop. Hey, guys, I joined the server. Obama, please help me. These two MAGA nut jobs have been grilling me the whole episode. Our viewers are going to start to think that we're biased. We got to snap back at them. Oh, hell no. I'm not going to let these Russian-funded clowns gang up on my little homie. I swear I'll slap the shit out of you both. To be honest, you would probably win against me in a fight, but if it was me and Tucker versus you and Joe, we would win it easy. All we would have to do is tap Joe's fat ass and he would fall down. Nah, stop the cap, Donald. Joe could probably walk faster than you can run, but let's stop arguing. We got to do something useful. I'm going to try to get a squadron of MiG-21 fighter jets and Su-25s going. Okay, good idea, Obama. I just hired a private army. I'm going to bring them back to the base. All right, Donald sounds good. By the way, yo, Tucker, why the hell do you have the Russian flag as your background? Did you just get hired at a Russian propaganda media company or something? Obama, I don't know what you're talking about. Also, I got to get off the server for a little bit. I'll be back later. I think Tucker is acting very sus right now. We need to keep an eye on his Russian ass so he doesn't betray us. Nah, bro, I trust Tucker. He would never do such a thing. Yo, guys, I'm going to get started on the bunker. I just crafted the blocks that we need to build it. Joe, we need you to use obsidian so it can withstand a bomb, and there is no way you have already mined enough obsidian to make a bunker. Nah, just trust me, bro. I'm going to use something even better than obsidian, and I already have an inventory full of it. Okay, whatever, Joe. It better be good. Yo, guys, I'm finished making the bunker. Come to my coordinates. Okay, Joe, I'm nearby. This bunker better be good, but I'm not expecting much from your dementia ass. Yeah, the bunker better be good. We also need to build a runway for my new Su-25M so I can bomb enemy villages. Yeah, guys, I think we should invade Yemen and finish the job as well. Yo, Joe, please save a few nukes so we can send them straight to Yemen. No, Donald, we are not bombing Yemeni children like you did during your administration. We also only have 50 nukes in our stockpile. We need more. Yeah, I agree, Joe. When I get to the bunker, I'm going to mine some more plutonium. All right, guys, I'm banning Joe. This is supposed to be a legit Minecraft server. Nah, don't ban him. He didn't do anything wrong. You're just mad, El Bozo. Unban me, bitch. I built that White House with pure skill and talent, something that your orange ass doesn't have. Joe, you dumbass. The driveway is literally made out of bedrock. How the hell did you even get command permissions? I'm guessing you had the Chinese hack my computer. Now that I'm seeing this shit, I'm going to have to agree with Donald. Like, bruh, this isn't even a bunker. You and your 200 advisors literally built a one-to-one -one replica of the White House in creative mode. Nah, bro, it's all legit. I was able to fund it with the laundered Ukraine money and the 10% to the big guy deal. Please unban me, Donald. You can have the White House. I don't care. No, we are not letting Donald's dumbass have the White House, and we should not be promoting such fraudulent acts on this server. We need to remove this building right now. Nah, bitch, I'm moving into the oral office right now. I'm going to be in here until my speaker term is over. Maybe you can win the next election. True, this White House is pretty nice. I'm going to move into here as well, but I'm definitely going to win the next election. This server has gone to shit ever since you became speaker, and we even got demonetized because of your horrible leadership. Obama, you are spitting straight facts. Yo, Donald, hurry up and unban me so we can create a large military with our new Capitol building. There is a bunker at the lowest floor that we can use as our war room. All right, Joe, you're unbanned now. You better not pull any of that shit again or it's going to be a permaban. I don't know what you're talking about, but okay, I'm going to work on the ICBM launch room. Wait, Joe, let me install some security cameras first so I can watch you and make sure you don't rig the server. You bitch, how about you go do something useful so we can start World War III by next episode? Yeah, Donald, stop messing around. I already have nine pieces of plutonium. Yo, guys, I'm back on Minecraft. How's it going? Go away, Tucker. No one wants to hear your annoying ass. Lamont Obama, you are a soy boy. Stay mad. Guys, stop with the bickering. We need Tucker to come to the White House and help us ready enough nukes to wipe Russia off the map. Wait, I thought we were attacking Ukraine. Nah, bro, we're going to take over the whole planet, so we got to attack Russia as well. Our plan is to suddenly launch hundreds of ICBMs at every military target in sight and blitzkrieg our way to their capital cities of Moscow and Kyiv. Nah, I can't do that. I got to stay loyal to the motherland. Russia is an innocent country that's just trying to secure its western border. Lamau Tucker, it cannot be any more obvious that you're a Russian agent that works for Putin. Yo, guys, I think we should arrest him and interrogate his ass. I agree with Joe. We should issue an arrest warrant on Tucker for peddling dangerous misinformation that threatens our democracy. 
he is definitely a Russian agent that cannot be trusted. Nah, bro, I'm not signing off on that shit unless we arrest Joe as well for being a Chinese CCP agent that works for Xi Ping. Well, it doesn't matter what you think because you aren't a judge anyway. I'm just gonna call up the newly appointed Supreme Court Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson to approve the arrest warrant. Nah, f you, Obama. I'm just gonna have my homie Clarence Thomas overrule that shit. Well, Mao, I'm pretty sure Justice Clarence Thomas is too busy facing complaints for breaking the ethics code. Yo, guys, I just found a bunch of SEALs. I sure hope they don't kill a bunch of innocent people like the ones that Obama and Donald sent to Afghanistan. Tucker, you bitch, you're supposed to defend me. I'm on your side. Nah, bro, it's just jokes. But anyway, I just reached the White House. What do you guys want me to do? Um, go build me a Boeing 767 plane that can serve as my Air Force One and make sure it says Trump in big letters on the side like my real life plane. No, Tucker, you better not do that. I don't want my future private jet to have Trump painted on the side after I win the next election. How the hell am I supposed to craft a Boeing 767 from scratch? This is Minecraft. I don't know, Tucker. Maybe you should ask George Bush, because I think he knows a lot about Boeing 767s. He even sent one to the twin in 2001. Elma Donald's so true. But anyway, yo, Tucker, you can see the crafting recipe for the plane by searching it up on the Just Enough Items mod. Oh, OK, I see the recipe for the plane. I'm going to try to get the materials for it. Guys, I got to get off. I have a meeting with Kevin McCarthy scheduled in a few hours, and Jill says I need to get ready. Okay, Joe, I'm going to get off as well. I'll be back on tomorrow. We should be able to launch our nukes and begin our invasion by then. All right, I'm going to go mine some more uranium for tomorrow's invasion, you Tucker. You should help me mine because you're going to need some more iron anyway to build the plane. No, nah, I'm getting off too, but I might be back on the server tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. Yo, are you guys ready to nuke the server with our 1,300 ICBMs and initiate World War III? Yeah, bro, I already put in the coordinates for the Kremlin. All we need to do is push the button and half the map will be gone. Nice, Joe. Our military force of 250 aircraft, 800 tanks, and 5,000 personnel is ready to be deployed into Russia and Ukraine. Let's hurry up and get this invasion started. All right, Obama, go get the army ready for deployment. Yo, Joe, come to the war room and help me launch the missiles. The silos need two people to press the button at the same time. Nah, bro, your fat ass could probably cover both buttons at once. I got to go make sure the missiles actually work. Well, I guess I'm just going to launch one at your vacation home in Delaware since you want to be a little bitch. But anyway, I'll just have my Secret Service do it. Guys, our military is ready to move. We're just waiting on the missile launch. Can you hurry up, please? OK, me and my Secret Service are pressing the launch buttons. Yo, Joe, did it work? Yeah, most of the missiles worked, but a few of them failed to launch. I sure hope they don't blow up right here. Nah, they should be good. I'm going to fix them up later and send them to Yemeni villages. Yo, Obama, did you give the orders yet? Yeah, me and the homies are flying to Moscow right now. I'm going to go beat the shit out of Putin and bomb the Kremlin. And when we're done doing that, we're going to pull up to Zelensky's block with that glizzy for stealing my 40 billion in Ukraine money. OK, Obama sounds good. I'm going to hop in my Air Force One and fly to Moscow as well. Yo, Joe, come with me. Sure, Donald, but I think you should let me fly the plane. Well, Mao, OK, Joe, I'll let you fly only because I can just jump out with my elytra when your dementia ass crashes the plane. Donald, you're the only one here without a college education. There's no way your orange ass can fly a plane. Joe, your college degree is fake, and Donald, you are a dumbass as well. I went to Harvard University, which makes me the smartest person out of the three of us. Obama, no one cares about your degree in gender studies. How about you go make some money and stop being poor? Bitch, my degree is in political science. You're just mad that I can make money without grifting to my supporters. Guys, how the fuck do you fly this plane? We might actually crash. Please help me. Well, first of all, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to point the nose at the ground. Perhaps you should go up more if you don't want to crash. Oh, OK, I think I got it. Never mind. Thanks for being a sarcastic little bitch, Donald. We should arrive at Moscow soon. You're welcome, Joe. There shouldn't be much left of Moscow now. Yo, guys, I just entered Moscow, but the city is still here. What the hell? I thought we bombed them. Damn it, they probably intercepted the missiles, so we're going to have to bomb the Kremlin ourselves. Um, are you OK, Joe? I'm going to need you to stop raging, please. But anyway, we're close to the Red Square right now. Yo, Joe, get ready to jump out. OK, I'm going to jump out when we're over the Kremlin. we got to regroup with Obama. Joe, it appears your dementia has just advanced to another stage. How the fuck can you go from screaming to monotone in like six seconds? Please take your pills. I don't know what you mean by that, but we're near the Capitol right now. Let's jump out and hit Putin with our Glocks. OK, I just jumped out. I'm going to go test my new scar out on some 18-year-old Russian conscripts. Yo, Obama, where are you? I'm right next to you. Let's all start heading towards the Kremlin. It's pretty close. Wait, why do I hear boss music? Wait, I hear that too. What the hell is that? I think I've heard that song from somewhere, but I can't remember. Yeah, same. I swear I heard that on Twitter somewhere, and it's getting louder. What the hell is even happening? 
Подобные люди готовы и мать родную продать, только бы им разрешили сидеть в прихожей у этой самой высшей касты. Fuck you, Putin. I'm getting off the server. I'm not dealing with this shit right now. Same, it took me like 30 diamonds to make that scar. I'd rather play some GTA 5. I'm getting off. Nah, don't get off, you dumbasses. We can still win the war. There's no way his Putin power could have intercepted all 1,300 of our missiles. Убежден, такое естественное и необходимое самоочищение общества только укрепит нашу страну. Nah, but seriously, don't get off, Joe. If you use your Biden blast, we can win. True Obama, I forgot about that. I'm going to hit Putin with the almighty Biden blast. Just give me a second to ready it. Yeah, Donald, get your ass back on the server. Joe's going to use his Biden blast, and I'm going to use my Obama Hamea. Nah, bro, I'm going to play some GTA online. And All right then, bitch. Yo, Joe, I'm heading back to the Kremlin. I don't think Putin is going to be ready for this. Facts, I'm heading there now. I have readied my Biden blast. Nice, Joe. I got my Obama Hamea ready, but it's limited to around 5% of its power. If I did any more, I would risk destroying the continent. But 5% should be good. Vladimir Putin, I didn't want to have to do this. Uh, but you have gave me no choice. My 70% Biden blast will be enough to wipe out your entire country. So I will have to use no more than 6% this time. Let me be clear, my Obama Hamaha will easily outmatch your Putin power. Biden blast! All right, Obama, that's good. I think we taught Putin a lesson. Oh, Mao, true. I don't get to go all out very often. That was pretty fun. But anyways, I'm going to bomb the rest of Moscow, then log off because my husband, Michelle, needs help putting a condom on. Um, okay, I'm going to get off, too, after I'm done blasting the city. На родном языке. Боролся и не сдавался в условиях блокады и постоянных обстрелов. Oh, hell no. I'm not going to let them disrespect the motherland like that. I'm going to go infiltrate the White House and steal their shit. Для ликвидации угрозы, которая исходила от неонацистского режима, сложившегося на Украине после переворота 2014 года, было принято решение о проведении Хуаза Бейдзинг. За долгие века колониализма, диктата, гегемонии, они привыкли, что им все позволено. Привыкли плевать на весь мир. Хуэйшоу за и нян, и и фэй фан. Yo guys, I'm at the White House. I'm going to start mining the walls for iron so we can make a shit ton of tanks and aircraft. Бойцам Донецких и Луганских корпусов, добровольцам, патриотам, которые сражаются в рядах. 两个一百年奋斗目标，历史交汇，我们开启了全面建设. Okay, I just entered the Oval Office. I'm going to look around for the documents. Well, I don't think so, bitch. You better put your fucking hands up right now. You're under arrest for treason. Хочу принести свои извинения. Простите, что в ходе сегодняшнего выступления не смогу всех назвать. 社会主义现代化国家新征程正昂首阔步行进在实现中华民族伟大复兴的。Donald, I swear it's not what it looks like. I'm an American patriot. Wait, what the hell are you doing? I just imprisoned your dumb ass. I'm going to interrogate you later when Obama and Joe gets back on. By the way, yo, Putin and Xi, I just want you guys to know that you have no idea what you're going against. The United States will steamroll through your little communist countries, and you have zero chance of winning this war. Особые слова жителям Донецкой и Луганской народных республик, Запорожской и Херсонской областей. 看了听了不少情况，很有启发和收获。每到群众家中，常会问一问。Donald, let me out, bitch. We both know that I'm innocent, unlike you and your falsifying business records and Stormy Daniels hush money case. Tucker, I literally caught you on video in 4K Ultra HD, Intel Core i9, RTX 4090 Ti, 128 gigs RAM. But either way, I just called up the other two idiots, and we're going to interrogate you. Donald, you ho! I thought we were friends. I swear I'm going to blow up the White House the second I get out of here. Yo, guys, I just joined the server. I heard that Tucker betrayed us. Yeah, bro, I caught him in 4K stealing my shit in the Oval Office. I'm pretty sure he works for Putin. Donald, you are a dumbass. How could you have not seen that coming? No one is surprised. Also, I'm pretty sure you're a Russian agent as well. So why are you mad? Shut up, Obama. I don't work for Putin like how you and Joe work for Zelensky. Hi, I joined the server. What's popping my fellow gamers? Joe, come to the CIA interrogation room. We're going to punish Tucker Carlson for trying to pull a fast one on us. Yeah, Tucker is officially a little bitch now. Sean Hannity was a better host anyway. Wait, Tucker, stop trying to escape. It's not going to work. 
Donald, I just entered the interrogation room. Let me control the torture devices, please. Okay, that's fine, Obama. Yo, Joe, where are you? I'm gonna go make a portal so we can go back to the overworld while you guys mess around doing nothing. Yeah, Joe is right. Please let me out of here so we can stop messing around and start doing something useful. Tucker, we are not letting your dumb ass out. You're gonna sit here and think about what you did. But anyway, yo, Joe, that's a good idea. We need to go back to the overworld ASAP. Facts, we need to make sure Putin and she doesn't destroy the overworld. Yo, Tucker, do you mind telling me where Xi Jinping's base is at? Nah, bro. I swear I don't know anything. Bullshit. We know that you have been secretly working with Xi Ping and Putin. Maybe we should start calling you General Mark Milley. Well, Mao, true. General Mark Milley is truly one of the dumbasses of all time. Donald, I don't know why you're agreeing with me. It was you who appointed General Mark Milley. But anyway, yo, Tucker, can you please speak? I'm gonna do what's called a pro-gamer move, you nerd, so I can just get on the server later and blow up the White House while you guys are sleeping. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to do a better pro-gamer move to stop that from happening. No, Donald, we can't just ban the opposition, you dumbass that would make this server boring. We need to solve our problems in a legit way. Also, you've been president for like five episodes. I think it's time for another election. Okay, Obama, but you and Joe have zero chance of winning. The last time we had an election, I beat your ass by a landslide. Well, you won the real presidency in 2016 by a landslide, and look what happened in 2020. Your Minecraft administration has caused nothing but problems on this server, and I'm ready to take back the White House from your orange ass. Yo, Obama, you should let me run as your vice president so we have a higher chance of winning. If the people that voted for me last time vote for our new presidential ticket, we might actually win this time. Joe, your teleprompter is a genius. I'm gonna run for president with you as the VP, but I'm gonna get off for now. Yo, Donald, can you start packing your shit, please? Keep on dreaming, guys. Your combined efforts will still be a waste. We all know that I'm just gonna win in another landslide. Oh, Mao, okay, it's gonna be funny when you start crying on Twitter about a stolen and rigged election, but anyway, I'm getting off the server. El Mao guys, get on the server. I won the election again. Imagine not being able to win with two people. No one likes you Democrats. Shut up, Donald. You apparently won by like four votes. It was much closer than last time. We all know that you had to rig it at the end like 2016. Obama, you are right. Donald probably rigged the election with bot accounts. We need to remove him from office right now. Nah, you guys ain't gonna do shit. Also, I would like to introduce my new vice president, Yo Elon, you can speak now. Hi guys, it is me, Elon Musk, the CEO of Twitter and the savior of humanity. Donald, why the hell did you have to invite this clown with an ego that is somehow bigger than yours? Please kick him out right now, unless he pays an $8 verification fee. Nah, bro, Elon is my new VP. He's gonna use his high IQ to help us advance because we gotta win the space race against Xi Ping and Vladimir Putin. But yeah, an $8 subscription to play on this server is actually pretty smart. I'm gonna implement that as my first action in this new term. Yes, we are gonna build a giant space vibrator that only Joe's wife can handle. I'm gonna start gathering the materials for it so we can go to Mars. Elon, what the hell are you talking about? Joe, I'm gonna build a giant SpaceX rocket and develop some brain chips that can help us brainwash the masses for the new dictatorship that me and Donald is gonna lead. Exactly, our new country is gonna take over the whole solar system and maximize our cartel profits, so we gotta to get to space. You guys are pure evil and I hate to admit it, but we can definitely make use of Elon, SpaceX, and Neuralink skills. Yeah, but how are we supposed to go to space in Minecraft? Just mine me some steel and we can get a space station set up and a few spy satellites to watch Putin. Oh yeah, we can also launch nuclear weapons from there. Nice, Elon, we gotta keep bombarding the opposition and prevent them from colonizing space. I'm gonna go mine some steel. Same, I'm gonna mine some steel as well and make some space suits so we don't die. Yo, Elon. What do you want, Joe? How's Twitter going? I heard that you lost 20 billion, you dumbass. Joe, you bitch, I spent that money for the sake of freedom of speech. I'm still $179 billion richer than you. Stop the cap, Elon. Joe, I am not capping. This is why I became red-pilled. You Democrats are retarded. I am definitely gonna hop on that Trump train in 2024. Yeah, 2024 is gonna be a red wave and my Trump train is gonna demolish Biden's little ice cream truck. Bitch, I'm gonna win the 2024 election in a landslide and send your ass straight to jail. Yo guys, I finished making the rockets. I even had to make a special one for Donald's fat ass because he needs one with a higher weight limit. Elon, you a bitch, no cap. Guys, how do we even fly this rocket and where are we going? We're gonna fly into Earth's orbit and get a space station set up which will allow us to go to the moon and make a base. Elon, that sounds like a good plan, but these rockets better not blow up midair like the ones that your shitty SpaceX company makes.
Nah, fuck you, Obama. My rockets are built good. Let's just hurry up and get to space so we can set up some satellites. Yeah, I can't wait until I find Xi Ping's house and blow it up. We need to get an orbital cannon built as soon as possible. Guys, I can't believe we're in space in Minecraft. This is so cool, yo. Obama, where are you? Yeah, this space mod is pretty sick, not gonna lie. Also, I'm about to land right now. Yo, Elon, what do you want us to do? Me and Donald are working on the spy satellite so we can take images of the Earth. If you want, you can help us get ready for a moon landing with some of the steel that you mined. Okay, I'm gonna start working on the launch pad. Yo, guys, why aren't the guns working? I think they might be glitched. It's not letting me shoot. Donald, you dumbass, our guns don't work in space, so you're actually gonna have to use skill to defeat mobs now. That is some straight bullshit, Omao. I don't even remember the last time I had to use a sword. Well, once we advance a bit, we can make some rail guns, but anyway, I just got the camera working, so I'm gonna look for Xi Ping's and Putin's base. Guys, Omao, there's no fucking way did you hear what just happened. What happened, Joe? Donald just got found guilty of sexual abuse in the Gene Carroll trial. Nah, Joe, that's fake news. I'm gonna need you to stop the cap. Nah, it's true. I just pulled up the news story on my monitor. Your dumbass is gonna have to pay five mil for diddling old Mao. Imagine being a sick pervert. Couldn't be me. Donald, it appears you've been a real dirty boy. Shut the fuck up, guys. I'm just gonna appeal the case to the Supreme Court and have my homie Clarence Thomas acquit me. We all know that I am innocent. Sure, buddy. Keep thinking that. Yo, guys, I just found a giant building with red and black banners on the satellite images. Does anyone know what it is? Elon, you are an actual legend. You just found the base of the cult that attacked us a few episodes ago. We gotta go bomb the shit out of them. Yeah, guys, we still haven't gotten our revenge on them for killing us. We need to go back to Earth right now. Nah, bitch, we're going straight to the moon like Dogecoin. But seriously, I don't want to go back to Earth. We should focus on making a moon base instead. Yeah, I agree with Elon. Going to the moon sounds more interesting, and I already have the rockets ready for launch. Okay, whatever. Let's go to the moon then. I'm going to hop in the rocket now. You guys are dumb. I'm just going to jump back to Earth and fight the cult myself since you all are scared. Joe, you dumbass, you are definitely just going to die like last time. Yeah, Joe, please don't leave me with these two MAGA retards. Deal with it, bitch. All right, guys, we landed on the moon. This is one small step for man, one giant leap for our bank accounts. Yeah, bro, we can make a shit ton of money by setting up some auto miners to gather precious metals. Let's start looking for a place to build our new colony. Yo, guys, watch out. There's some players approaching us from over there. Get ready to fight. They might be hostile. There's no way, bro, we should be the only ones with the technology to be here. Hello, guys. I'm afraid you all are in U.S. territory, so I'm going to need to see some visas or you will be subject to deportation. We have already claimed the moon. All right, well, since you don't have a visa, your dumb asses are going to get deported then. Yo, Obama and Elon, let's kill these communists. Yeah, bro, these goons are not welcome in our country. We need to rid the moon from all CCP rats. Also, how the hell did they even get here before us? I don't know, Obama, but they should have a base set up somewhere nearby. We need to find it and destroy their beds so they can't respawn here. Elon, you are a straight genius. We need to send China's ass back to Earth. Oh, you just wait, Xi Ping, when I find your hideout, I'm going to hit it with the Yemeni special and there'll be nothing left. Yeah, I'm going to use my remote access tool and point our spy satellite towards the moon so we can scan the surface for any structures. Nice, Elon. I'm going to go look around and see what I can find. Yo, guys, I just found a moon structure. It might be Xi Ping's base. Let's go see what's inside. Nah, I'm pretty sure this is just a natural spawning structure, but it's still nice, so we can use it. Yeah, I agree, Elon. This base is pretty nice. It's even got a bunch of emeralds that we can take, so we don't have to rely on the child labor emerald mine that your father owns in South Africa. Fuck you, Donald. Don't bring that up. My father does not own an emerald mine in Africa. We all know that I am a self-made billionaire that was once in debt, but was able to work hard to get to where I am today. Elon, I'm going to need you to stop the cap. You were born into a wealthy South African family, and we all know you own stock in your daddy's emerald mine. Just admit it already. Obama, I'm going to have to agree with you for once. Elon is definitely capping right now, just like how he lies about the child labor that goes on in the Tesla lithium mines. Trump, you're supposed to defend me, you bitch. Don't make me betray you like what your other vice president, Mike Pence, did after the 2020 election. El Mao, true Mike Pence, is a traitor to the American people. I'm going to make sure that he goes straight to jail after I win the election with a new vice president. Donald, you should pick Marjorie Taylor Greene or Lauren Boebert as your 2024 VP. 
so Joe can get the guaranteed W. Nah, bro, Marjorie Taylor Greene is far too insane for my liking. Maybe I'll pick Carrie Lake or Tulsi Gabbard, I don't know yet. Guys, I just reached the Colts Cathedral and it's big as shit. This has to be their headquarters or something. You guys need to go back to Earth right now and help me blow it up. Joe, we're too busy working on the new moon base so we can make money. Yeah, Joe, we can go back to Earth later. But we need to focus on mining the precious metals that are on the moon. I'm going to start getting stuff to make some drills. You guys are straight cringe. I'm getting off the server so I can play some games that are actually good. Oh, Mao, we all know that Joe has zero taste. He's probably going to go hop on Roblox or Genshin Impact. Guys, I'm going to get off, too, because I am required to post at least 10 narcissistic and red-pilled tweets per hour so I don't start experiencing Twitter withdrawal symptoms. All right, well, I guess I'm going to get off as well so I can hang out with Michael. I'll be back on the server tomorrow. Okay, you nerds, I'm just going to get off and work on appealing my Jeannie Carroll sexual assault case. My lawyer should be able to get the W. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Yo, Hillary, want to hop on the Minecraft server? Joe, out of everyone else you could have bothered, why are you inviting me to play Minecraft? Well, Donald and Obama are being stupid, and you're the only other woman with good-smelling hair that is online right now. Fair enough, Joe. I just started using strawberry shampoo. I'm sure you will like it. But anyway, what am I even supposed to do in this children's game? I swear you invite me to play these little kid games every night. Shut up, Hillary. The games I play, such as Minecraft, Roblox, and Genshin Impact, are not for kids. They are cultured games that adults play all the time. Nah, Joe, this game is straight ass. I only play the great game called Hitman 3 because it reminds me of the time that my husband hired a hitman to kill his old friend Jeffrey while he was in jail. Well, I'm out true, but seriously, we need to raid this cult that's been messing with us ever since we created the server. Come pick up these RPGs and guns so we can blow it up and kidnap their leader. Oh, okay, this sounds pretty fun. I'm going to use this RPG to turn the cult's base into what I let happen in Benghazi, Libya. Yeah, Hillary, if you just copy what happened in the Benghazi attacks, we should be able to get the W. I'm going to start sniping the guards. Okay, Joe, I'm going to start blowing up the cathedral so we can go inside and kill these deplorables. Let's just hurry up and win already so I can go back to reading my 2,000 private emails. Boy, what the fuck do you brokies think you're doing to my mansion? You better fix this shit right now. OMG, you're telling me that Andrew Tate was actually the cult's leader this entire time. How the hell is this possible? Sleepy Joe, this isn't a cult, you dumbass. These people are just my followers that have escaped the Matrix. And yes, I am the real top G, and I have a Tate speech in a few minutes, so why don't you brokies attend? Joe, I don't see why not. I think we should hear him out and listen to his Tate speech. Okay, fine. Let's listen to his Tate speech. Perhaps Andrew is actually a good person, unlike how the media portrays him. Yo, Andrew Tate, where are you delivering the speech? Joe, just go inside the cathedral. In like five minutes, my supporters should be in there already. Guys, why the hell does it smell like dried cum and Axe body spray in here? That's probably because Andrew Tate fans are fat cultist Redditors that have zero hygiene. So we're just going to have to bear the stench for now. Guys, wait for me. I'm coming to the speech right now. Omao, I need to see this. Donald, I thought you, Elon, and Obama were messing around in space. Why are you here? When I heard that the top G was on this server, I had to hop in the rocket and come back to see this shit. Who the hell would have thought that Andrew Tate was the leader of the cult all along? Elmo, true Donald. I guess the guy that we tortured for saying that Andrew was the leader was actually right. I kind of feel bad now. Attention, everyone. The top G is here. I'm about to deliver my motivational Tate speech. Everyone shut up. Okay, Andrew, I can't wait to be motivated. Please enlighten us with your words. Yeah, bro, I can't wait to hear Andrew's touching speech. I've been depressed ever since I lost to Donald in 2016, and I need some motivation to help me through these tough times. Having sex with a vagina is for absolute pussies. You know what a real man does? As a real gangster myself, I take it in the ass. That's what real Gs do with their bros. I'll tell you something. I may be known as top G in public, but here in my cell in Romania, I'm known as the bottom G. That's how we roll. I cannot think of a lower ROI activity than sticking your dick in pussy. It's a complete waste of time and energy. Just think about it for a second. Them hoes have taken literally millions of cock. It just ain't tight enough for me. But drilling a fellow G's ass, now that is a completely different story. Not only are you providing loads of stimulus for your penis, you're actively expanding your network by mingling with like-minded people. It's all part of making it into the top. That is, ladies and gentlemen, the secret to escaping the matrix. That was such a motivational and heartwarming speech, I'm literally crying right now. Yeah, this is exactly the type of based and red-pilled speeches that I would hear from the top GEO, Andrew Tate. You should join our country so I can appoint you as the new Speaker of the House. Yeah, Andrew, I think that would be pretty funny, not gonna lie. I think we should team up. Your Tate speeches are so motivating, Elmao. 
Well, I guess I might just have to, since you guys keep insisting, I can also have my cult following assist us at growing our new based regime. All right, nice, Andrew Tate. Let's hop in the rockets and go back to space. Oh yeah, by the way, yo crooked Hillary, we only have three rockets, so you can't come. Bitch, I haven't been able to come since the 1980s, but seriously, you better let me go to space with you guys or I'm gonna have my husband Bill blow up the server like last time. Yeah, we should let Hillary come with us. Well, if you would like to donate your rocket to her, then you are more than welcome to. Oh, hell no, I'm not doing that. I guess Hillary is gonna have to stay. You guys are dumb, I'm gonna leave the server. Yo, Donald, I would watch out when you go to prison if I were you. Yo, guys, it's nice being back in space. Now I can get back to smoking that dank purple kush that I grew a while back. Breathe air, you dumbass. You don't need a vape. Go do some push-ups or something. Bitch, I'm not vaping. And you literally said you got lung cancer on Twitter, so I don't want to hear it. I just got the miner set up. We should be able to make a bunch of money. Ooh, Donald, let me see. You know, I really love miners. Where are you at? Joe, you retard. I'm talking about an automatic miner that can get us a bunch of materials, not the miners that you and your son are into. Shut up, Donald. I'm pretty sure Andrew Tate, the human trafficker, would know a lot more about that stuff than anyone else. Joe, you bitch. We all know those charges are fake. It's just the Matrix trying to silence me. And Donald, I'm pretty sure you were on Jeffrey's private island flight list. Hi, guys. I'm coming back to the base with my moon rover right now. Yo, Obama, when did you even get on the server? Your stupid ass just appeared out of nowhere. I literally just got on like 10 seconds ago. Me and my husband, Michael, just got done trying a new position. Guys, I got to get off the server. I'll be back on later. Joe, why are you getting off the second I get on? You are acting very sus right now because it would be a pain in the ass for the guy that edits these videos to have to deal with five different voices since only one of us can speak at a time. True, but there's only three of us. Is your dementia causing you to trip balls again? Obama, I'm here as well, and I'm currently working on a Neuralink brain chip that can allow us to control mobs. Yeah, Obama, the top G, is in here as well. I'm currently building myself a Bugatti since the police took my real one. Bruh, who invited this clown onto the server, we definitely do not need the Tate brothers on here. Nah, bro, Tate is the leader of the cult that we nuked in episode four, but he's cool. So I made him our new speaker of the house. Fuck you, Donald. There you go again. Teaming up with the enemy, like how you team up with Putin. I swear I'm gonna slide on Andrew's block the second I see him. My gun's got a switch. Nah, Obama, you ain't gonna do shit. I got this $20,000 custom made 7.62 glizzy and full diamond armor pull up right now. Guys, let's not kill each other, please. I've just discovered that Xi Ping has a moon base, but it's actually orbiting the moon, unlike what we initially thought. So we need to build a spaceship and board it. Nice, Elon. I'm gonna help you make the spaceship. I didn't even know that we could make those. Yeah, bro, we can make giant spaceships because of my genius intelligence and IQ. The Chinese will stand no chance against us. Elon, you are a dumbass. We all know you contribute nothing to SpaceX. You just rely on your 10,000 employees to do everything for you while taking all of the credit for it. Now shut up, Obama. I am actually a master coder and rocket scientist. Don't make me have to use my hacker skills to boot your ass offline. I have your IP address. Guys, I'm done building the spaceship. It's got an engine room and a weapons compartment fitted with one-way glass. We're about to hit them with the master warframe tactics and fly this ship straight onto their orbiter and board their vessel. Also, it should be oxygenated inside so we can use our guns. Damn, this is pretty nice, Omao. Who the hell would have thought we would be having space battles on a Minecraft server? Yeah, this is pretty cool. When we're done raiding Xi Ping's orbiter, I'm definitely going to make my own luxurious spacecraft so I can get all the Minecraft hoes. Having my own private ship will definitely make me a high value male. Nah, you don't need to do that, Andrew. You can just traffic some women like you did in Romania. Shut the fuck up, Obama. You literally work for the WEF Matrix people that are trying to silence me. Guys, stop with the bickering. We should be approaching the moon's orbit soon. We're going like Mach 2000 right now, thanks to our OP engines. Nice, Elon. It's about time we deal a blow to the CCP's massive empire. I have no idea how they became so advanced so quickly. Yeah, bro, I can't wait to kill these communists. Oh, yeah, also, why is Xi Jinping even on this server, Mao? I thought Minecraft is banned in China. I don't know, Andrew. Maybe you should ask Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un. I see him on Discord playing GTA 5 and Roblox nearly every day. I had no idea he was such a gamer. Guys, we're approaching the orbiter. Get ready to board it. I sure hope we don't get shot down. Damn, that is a giant base. We definitely need to take it for ourselves. Yeah, guys, I don't think Xi Ping is online right now, so we can just camp and wait for him to come online. I'm gonna jump out with my elytra and infiltrate the vessel. Same Obama, I'm gonna go in from the top. That's probably where all the cool gadgets are at. Okay, the top G is hopping out too. I finally get to test out my $20,000 custom AK. I'm gonna keep piloting our space vehicle and use it to drop some shrapnel bombs on our enemies, kind of like what Obama and Donald did in Yemen. 
Bitch, don't bring that up. I just entered the orbiter, and there's a lot of underfed CCP soldiers in here, but they have no aim, so we good. We need to find Xi Ping's bed and destroy it so he can't respawn. Okay, Donald, I'm going to start breaking the beds. These brokies stand no chance against the almighty Top G. My AK is making quick work of them. Yeah, we need to secure the vessel as soon as possible. Yo, Andrew, can you summon your cult following to help us out? Yeah, bro, I just used my Tate Fate Create legendary skill to summon a few of my most loyal followers. But they're mostly a bunch of Discord mods and Redditors, so they're not very useful. No, we should be good. We just need them to secure this big-ass orbiter from any leftover CCP rats. Yo, guys, I'm dropping shrapnel bombs, so watch out and also let me know when it's safe to dock the ship onto the orbiter. I'm running low on fuel. You should be good, Elon. I don't think there are many communists left. Just come to the west side gate. It's already been cleared out. Okay, I'm docking the ship now. With our new base, we can build a much better spaceship with missile capabilities. And if we get our hands on some antimatter, we can make an overpowered vessel that can go to different solar systems. I'm talking Star Wars shit. Yeah, that sounds great, Elon. We have pretty much taken over the orbiter. We just need to wait until Xi Jinping gets online. Well, I'm not doing that because I have some top G things to do, so I'm going to get off. Andrew, your ass is on house arrest for heinous crimes. You're probably just going to post some cringe TikToks or go on some garbage podcast. I'm going to get off as well. Yeah, I'm going to get off as well and hang out with my son, XAsh A12. Yo, Donald, you're going to have to stay on the server and wait for Xi Jinping. Elon, you are a bitch. Yo, Joe and Obama, get on the server. Okay, Donald, I'm getting on right now. Did you take care of Xi Jinping? Nah, bro, I stayed on for like two hours last night and Xi Jinping never got on the server, but I did break all of the beds so he can't respawn. Well, we got to keep waiting for him to get online or we can never be safe. Donald, are you blind, you dumbass? Xi Ping is literally right behind you, and I don't have my strap on me right now, so I can't shoot him. Ah, shit, he killed me. Can one of you trash players please kill him before he takes back the orbiter? Bitch, what do you want me to do about it? I didn't have anything to fight back with, so it's now up to Joe to win the 1v1 or all of the work we did was all for nothing. Guys, you know I'm not good at first-person shooters. Also, you guys literally died before me, so y'all are the trash ones. Joe, you have an OP sniper, and Xi Ping has a dinky pistol, so you better win, because if you don't, then that means the CCP has won our first battle, and we can't let that happen. Yeah, Joe Clutch, your kick. Guys, I might actually shit myself. I'm very scared, and I have no idea where Xi Ping is at. Please help me. Joe, you are a little bitch. Just go find the ship and get out of there so we can regroup. There is no way your dementia ass is going to win a 1v1 against Xi Ping. Ah, uh, shit, guys, I see him right there. Oh, uh, Mao, guys, I just one tapped him, get fucked. Taiwan is a country, stay mad. OMG, Joe, you actually clutched for once. You probably had your teleprompter install aimbot for you. You are spitting facts, Donald. But either way, we have now won our first space battle against the communists. This is definitely going to be a turning point in our war against Xi Ping and Vladimir Putin. Shut the fuck up, guys. I'm not using aimbot. Y'all are just trash. Mm-hmm, Joe, whatever you say, man. But anyway, I'm going to go back to Earth and see how much money our Colombian cartel workers have made while we were gone. Same, Donald. I'm going to go back to Earth as well. Yo, Joe, you need to stay on the orbiter and make sure it doesn't get raided. Um, okay. I just found the controls for a giant space laser, so I'm going to test it out. Joe, what the hell are you even talking about? I don't know. It just says giant space laser. I think I'm in the command room for the orbiter. There's even a 3D printer in here. Joe, please don't touch anything. We have no idea what that laser in your dementia is capable of. For all we know, it could even destroy the whole moon. Fuck you, Obama. I'm turning the laser on. I sure hope it doesn't destroy our moon base. I'm going to go see if it works. Joe, I swear, if you destroy my moon base, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. It's going to cost like $3 billion to rebuild it. Nah, I think we're good. It doesn't look like the laser is working. El Mao, that's Chinese technology for you. They probably bought the laser off of Alibaba.com. Bro, you've got to be fucking kidding me. The whole Capitol building has been nuked by the Russians and Chinese. Yeah, our coke farm is gone as well, so we have no way of making any money. Haha, <laughs> you simpletons, it was me who destroyed the Capitol. Daddy DeSantis. Ron DeSantis, you bitch. Why are you even on this server? I thought you were busy banning books. Yeah, DeSantis, what is the meaning of all of this? I'm just joking, guys. It wasn't me. I literally just joined the server so I can join the fight against the left's woke mind virus. DeSantis, you're not funny. You're just another rhino like Adam Kinzinger and Liz Cheney. I'm going to beat your ass in the 2024 election. Donald, no one wants your deteriorating 76-year-old bitch ass to be president. 
How about you step aside and let Daddy DeSantis take charge against the woke left? Bruh, I swear both of you are just as retarded as the other. Let's just focus on getting our cartel business back up so we can fund our war machine and get revenge on the people that bombed our capital. Okay, I'm gonna gather some poppies so we can make some morphine and convert it into heroin that we can sell to local villages. I'm gonna have some of the Mexican migrants that I bust to Washington, D.C. help us with the cartel deliveries. El Mao, that's a pretty good idea, not gonna lie. Nah, bro, that's racist. You can't just take illegal immigrants and tell them to do things against their will, you fascist dictator. El Mao, Obama, stay mad. Yo, guys, I'm gonna go back to the moon orbiter and start working on the farm. I put some rockets in the chest. Wait, what the hell is that annoying ass sound? Jill, what the fuck did I tell you about vacuuming the room while I'm playing Minecraft? Get out of my room, you hoe. Jill, I'm cleaning, you dumbass. Do you want us to get roaches, you disgusting old man? Oh, Mao, I'm dead, bro. I swear Jill is always vacuuming. Can we please mute Joe's mic so we don't have to hear it? Yeah, I just used my Discord mod powers to mute Joe. I couldn't imagine having an annoying ass wife like that. Yeah, bro, me neither. Obama, of course you couldn't because you have a husband, not a wife. Melania is a straight baddie. Donald, you dumbass. My wife literally beat cancer and didn't have to spend 20,000 on plastic surgery, so we all know I got the baddest of the baddies. Yeah, but does she let you grab her by the pussy? Yo, guys, I got the giant space laser to work, and it's currently vaporizing the moon. OMG, it's actually working. I'm going to go to the moon and see what type of damage it caused. We need to find out where Vladimir Putin's base is at so we can hit it with our Jewish space laser. I'm working on the farm so we can make some money. OK, Donald, I'm going to have the illegal immigrants that I arrested help us run a giant weed and opium farm. Guys, stop with the human rights violations. We cannot just force these innocent migrants to work for us. Joe, don't you fucking use the word human rights with me. You literally have Xi Jinping as your boyfriend. Also, I'm gonna hop off because I have some pudding that I need to eat. Good DeSantis, no one wanted you here anyway. I hope you like your finger pudding, bitch. Yo, guys, I'm gonna get off as well. I need to get ready for a Trump rally I have in a few hours. Okay, I'm gonna hop on Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, I'm feeling pretty confident after the 1v1 I had with Xi Ping Yo Obama. You wanna hop on? Yeah, I can hop on. Yo, Ben, get on the president's Minecraft server. I sent the IP in the Discord chat. Sure, Andrew, I'm joining right now, but what are we gonna do in Minecraft? I'm tired of these old ass men telling the top G what to do, so we're gonna steal their shit and take over the whole server. Ooh, that sounds fun, let's do that. I hate Donald Trump and Joe Biden. I'm definitely gonna vote for Daddy DeSantis in 2024. Nice, I'm gonna start working on our luxurious spaceship. You need to infiltrate the White House and steal their rockets so you can go to space. Okay, I'm heading towards the White House. I can't wait to hit these freaking fricks with my facts and logic. Ben, stop being a beta male, you can cuss, you nerd. Nah, bro, I am a man of the Lord, and I do not condone such sinful actions. When we take over this server, we're going to convert it into a Christian Minecraft server. Ben, you dumbass, I'm the top G, so I'm the one in charge here, and I thought you were Jewish. I think you get my point, but anyway, I see the White House, and there's some secret service agents with guns. What should I do? You're gonna need to craft yourself a glizzy and shoot up their whole block. The secret service mod that they're using is just some trash NPCs, so you should be good. Also, I'm pretty sure you can craft a Glock 17 for like 10 iron. Okay, I'm gonna mine some iron so I can craft a Glock with an extendo clip and slide on the ops. Yo, Ben, I'm done building my private spaceship. It's even got a garage for my epic exotic car collection and a giant penthouse. No one cares about your car collection, Andrew. I'm pulling up to the White House with my new Glock right now. Fuck you, Ben. You're just mad because you're poor. Let's say hypothetically, your mom was wearing a yellow raincoat. Now, also in this scenario, there is a man needing to get home. When he sees your mom, he will yell, taxi, taxi. Now, why does he do this? The answer is actually quite simple. Your mom is so fat, she's the size of a taxi. And the yellow raincoat she is theoretically wearing is the same color as a taxi. Therefore, the man mistakes her for a taxi. So, what has this hypothetical scenario shown us? It has shown us that your mom is very, very fat. Boom, once again destroyed with facts and logic. Ben, you are a hoe. I should have invited Aiden Ross instead of your annoying ass. Please hurry up and go to space already so we can test out the ship. Okay, Andrew, I got some rockets. I'm heading to you right now. Yo, Andrew, this ship is pretty nice, not gonna lie. Yeah, I had to spend like eight million of my Hustlers University money to afford this, but it was well worth it. Hi, everyone, my name is Elon Musk. My pronouns are they slash them, and I am a white cis male. Elon, what the hell happened to you? Well, see, I lost like $152 billion ever since I became red-pilled, so I'm trying to recoup my losses by being woke on Twitter. Bro, that's a good idea, not gonna lie. But anyway, me and Ben Shapiro are seceding from the union and we are gonna take over the whole server. Oh yeah, you and what army? This army, bitch. Look outside your window, me and Ben got a big ass warship that's capable of interplanetary travel. Yeah, Elon, you and your geriatric buddies stand no chance against us, ha 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 ha. 
Oh shit, you actually do have a giant warship. It appears I'm in danger. Yeah, you are definitely in danger. Elon Musk, you better surrender right now or be annihilated. Well, are you just going to sit there or what? I'm about to launch this anti-ship missile. Well, I'm going to send in Joe's wife to take care of you. Me and Ben will be back soon. Just you wait. Well, Mao, I only launched one missile and you're already running like a little bitch. Now, nah, me and Ben needs to get ready for the full-scale assault. I'm already speeding away much faster than your puny missiles. Now, you better get your ass back here right now, or I'm going to ban your Twitter account so you won't be able to post anime waifus. El Mao Andrew, why do you always post cringe anime waifus, bro? That is so weird. I'm scrolling through your Twitter right now, and it is straight cancer. Shut up, Ben. I'm just cultured. But anyway, I'm getting off. I'll be back on tomorrow. Um, same. I'm just going to keep scrolling through your Twitter. Perhaps I'll make a reaction video on my Daily Wire YouTube channel. Yo, Donald and Joe, get on the server. We have an emergency that we need to deal with. All right, Elon, I'm getting on now. What happened? Andrew Tate has betrayed us, and he's trying to take over the server, so we need to stop him before he gets too powerful. OMG, I am so surprised. Who would have seen that coming? Andrew would never betray anyone. Joe, I hope you're being sarcastic right now, but anyway, we need to start heading towards Mars. I'm going to get the ship ready for launch. All right, I'm grabbing some materials for our new Mars base. Yo, Joe, can you bring some nerve agents with you just in case we need to commit some war crimes? Yeah, bro, I got some mustard gas and VX nerve agent. I'm going to bring it with us. Nice, Joe. If we encounter any enemy players, we're just going to hit them with the mustard gas, oh, Mao. Even if they win, the cancer will catch up to them eventually. Good idea, Donald. I've just made an infinite oxygen source, so we should be able to survive on Mars. Yo, guys, wait for me. I just came back from announcing my presidency. Go away, DeSantis. Your Twitter space went horrible. No one wants your dumb ass to be president. Nah, DeSantis is cool. He can come with us to Mars. The ship is ready to launch now. Okay, I just entered the ship. I'm going to put the mustard gas and nerve agent in the safe. Same, I'm going to put the coke that my illegal immigrants harvested in the safe. It should last us a while. I'm launching the ship now, but it's going to take a while for us to reach the Martian orbit. All right, I'm going to go to sleep then. Yo, guys, we have now landed on Mars. We need to secure the planet and make sure our enemies don't get here. Okay, I'm going to start building a Trump Tower so I can become a landlord and rent out the rooms to our new Mars inhabitants. Wait, Donald, I want to become a landlord. How do I do that? You can become a landlord on the server by building some houses and right-clicking villagers to have them rent out your property. Just make sure to evict any single mothers and implement a mandatory tip. Nah, you guys better not become landlords. There's no way your dumbasses would stoop that low. I think we should provide our citizens with free housing and welfare. Oh, hell no, Joe. We are not doing that. Landlords are essential to the economy, and they provide lots of value to society. You rentoids can stay mad while I make millions from rent payments. Donald, you are spitting straight facts. I'm tired of these jealous poor people stealing from us billionaires. They're just mad that we know how to make money through hard work and effort. Frick you guys, when I win the next Minecraft presidency, I swear I'm going to tax the shit out of you all. Joe, we all know I'm just going to win the Minecraft presidency like I always do. But anyway, I'm going to go explore the Martian surface because I don't feel like building. Yeah, Donald, I'm going to go explore too. Bro, can you guys stop being useless? I'm literally the only one that is doing work while you bitches do nothing. And I'm pretty sure Joe fell asleep over there. <laughs> Joe, you bitch, wake up and help me build it. Well, I wasn't sleeping. I was just AFK. Jill needed me for something. Joe, stop the cap. You were definitely sleeping. Holy shit, guys. I actually found the WEF's headquarters. There's no way Klaus Schwab might actually be in there this time. Donald, I'm tired of your lies and misinformation that is literally not possible. The WEF doesn't play on this server. Facts, there's no way. Bruh, it's actually true. There's a giant compound with the WEF logo on the side. I am flabbergasted right now. How could they be here? I don't know how the WEF got to Mars before us, but we are definitely going to declare war on them. Yo, Joe, get the mustard gas and nerve agent. Nah, the WEF is a good organization, and the Great Reset is definitely a genius idea that should be implemented. We need to be friends with them and help their cause. Joe, they are literally going to make us eat bugs and shit when they take over the whole Minecraft universe. So I am definitely going to have to vote to declare war on them. Yes, yeah, same. I'm going to vote yes because we cannot put up with these elitists. This server is where woke goes to die. All right, we got a majority vote. We are now declaring war on the World Economic Forum. Yo, boys, what is the plan? I say that we craft a bunch of artillery and lay siege on the compound until it's been fully leveled. I still think we should become their friend and help fund their cause. The WEF did nothing wrong to deserve all this. Bruh, all of your plans are straight ass. What we need to do is infiltrate their compound and act like we're friendly, then hit them by surprise. 
We can't just destroy all of the valuable assets inside. They have a whole ass rocket over there. Okay, Elon, I approve of your plan. I guess we can just go inside and see if Klaus is in there. Yo, DeSantis and Joe, come with us. All right, we're at the entrance. Let's go inside the building and see if our boy Klaus Schwab is in there. Guys, I'm not too sure about this. Those police officers are kind of scary and I don't want to die. Joe, stop being a little bitch, but you're right. Why the hell does the World Economic Forum have their own police force? I had no idea they were so powerful. We honestly stand no chance against them unless we resort to underhanded strategies. Yeah, I brought some mustard gas explosives just in case things go south. But where are we even supposed to go? This building is bigger than Joe's wife. The conference room where the billionaires meet should be somewhere on the second floor. Oh wait, I just found it. Let's go inside. Hi everyone, it is me, Klaus Schwab. I hope to make everyone eat bugs for the breakfast because they are very healthy. Um, hi, Mr. Klaus. I'm the president of the United States of Minecraft, and I'm here to propose an alliance because we really love your efforts to fight climate change, and we're a big fan of your Great Reset plan. Thank you very much, Donald. I'm sure we can work together and fight the world hunger and build the 15-minute cities. Oh, by the way, do you guys like my picture? I think it is very glorious. Um, yeah, Klaus, your picture is very nice. But anyway, can you give us some money and weapons that we can use to help your cause? Yeah, Klaus, we are very broke and we need some money so we can promote the eating of bugs and ban the use of cars while us rich people use our private jets to attend these WEF meetings. Of course, bro, I can give you the money that I get from company funding so we can increase our influence and promote bug-based diets. I can even have my girl Greta Thunberg help you. Oh, please have Greta Thunberg help us. I would literally commit more war crimes than every president in Philippines history just to get a sniff on that sweet hair. Okay, I am definitely not going to let your creepy ass anywhere near Greta Thunberg. But anyway, I'm going to get my private jet ready for Z takeoff because I have a meeting with my good pal George Soros. Oh, okay, Klaus, I hope you have a safe trip to your next climate change meeting. You guys, I just planted some gas bombs. They're ready to be detonated. Nice, Joe. When Klaus leaves in his private jet, we can start our attack and take over this spaceport. Wait, guys, didn't Klaus say he's going to go meet George Soros? How the hell is George Soros' old ass on this server? Well, Mao, I have no idea how all of these people keep joining or how this simple Minecraft server devolved into a space colonization race, but I know we got to win, win, win. Donald, to be honest, you are a dumb bitch. How did you even manage to get us into three different wars? You are a terrible Minecraft leader. I'm going to vote for impeachment. Yeah, I'm going to have to vote for impeachment as well because your dumb ass got us into war with Putin and Xi Jinping, Andrew Tate's cult, and now the WEF. I mean, I agree with attacking the WEF, but Putin is the homie. I think we should team up with him. Yeah, bro, I'm going to vote for removal as well, so I am now the president. Ha ha ha. Wait, oh shit, I take it back. I didn't think that through. We cannot have Elon as president. Well, I'm not going to vote to remove Elon because he is the homie, so he gets to be president until the next election. Oh, hell yeah. I'm finna go ham on this server, Yo DeSantis. You're my new VP. Let's go turn this server into a conservative utopia. Also, I'm gonna use my presidential powers to call off the attack on the WEF. We're just going to nuke them instead. This is some straight bullshit. There is no Minecraft constitution that allows the removal of me. The YouTube comments voted for me, and that's final. How about we settle it with a 1v1 quickscope match, then? No, we are not doing that. Yeah, that's what I thought, bitch boy. I'm gonna go back to the ship and start building a city. Yo, guys, I'm going to hop off. Same to Santis, I'm going to get off as well so I can hop on Roblox. Yo, guys, I'm done building my Trump Tower. It's got 300 rental units and a giant casino. We're about to make a shit ton of money. Hello, everyone. It is me, the master KGB agent Vladimir Putin. Putin, where the hell did you come from? You better not be here to start any trouble. Yeah, go away, Putin. Nah, bro, I come in peace. I'm just here to see what the retarded Westerners are up to because my boy Xi Jinping is offline right now. Okay, Putin, you can stay as long as you let me perform a cavity search on you to make sure you don't have any weapons. Donald, you are a sussy bucka. Oh, hell no. Your little fingers are not going anywhere near my butthole. Just trust me, bro. I swear I have no weapons on me. All right, I trust you, Putin. I think we should team up instead of fighting so we can destroy the WEF once and for all. Nah, bro. We're not teaming up with Putin unless he pulls out of Ukraine or accepts my boxing match proposal. Fuck you, Elon. You would be more likely to pull out of a woman than it would be for me to pull out of Ukraine. I am definitely going to get the W, and Mother Russia will never give up. Yeah, Elon, I don't think you're qualified to talk about pulling out. You have, like, nine kids. Bitch, I never tried to pull out. We all know I had those kids on purpose. Also, we are not teaming up with Putin, and that's final because I'm the new president. 
Yo, Donald, let's just ignore Elon. There is nothing that that man baby can do. But anyway, we are going to team up and attack the WEF. Okay, Putin, I will accept your proposal, but only if you agree to block Xi Ping and never speak to him again. Deal. Donald, don't make me arrest you for conducting unauthorized foreign relations. I am now the president because your dumbass got voted out. How about you settle it with a 1v1 quickscope match with Putin? No, Putin is literally the best first-person shooter player out of everyone on this server. And how about you stop stealing my lines, ho? All right, it's settled then, yo, Donald. I'm going to start moving some of my Russian conscripts into the Trump Tower so we can prepare for war. Okay, Putin, just know that I am the landlord here, and each rental unit is $1,500 a month plus a 20% mandatory tip. That's fine, Donald. I'll just take out a loan to pay for the rent. But anyway, I'm going to hop off. We can begin the war tomorrow. All right, Putin. Sounds good. Bro, this server is so ass. Why does no one listen to me? I am literally a genius that is going to save humanity from extinction. Yo, Obama, hop on the server. We got to destroy the World Economic Forum. Donald, what are you even talking about? How can the WEF be on here? I don't know, but yesterday, me and the boys found Klaus Schwab's base and he's trying to gain a sphere of influence on our server. Oh, hell no, we gotta stop that from happening. Also, Klaus still owes me money for promoting his shitty ideas. Yeah, just hop in one of the rockets and come to Mars. I have a friend that's gonna help us win against the WEF. Oh yeah, and who would that be? It would be me, Vladimir Putin, the president of the motherland. Bra Donald, all you do is team up with the worst people possible. Putin is literally a ruthless dictator, and I thought we were enemies with him, so why are you guys butt buddies? Chill out, Obama. It's just a temporary thing to make sure we can actually win. Also, if we don't team up with him, then you might not be able to get your money back from Klaus Schwab. All right, but I swear if he tries anything, I'm going to hit him with my Obama hamaha again. That's fine by me. Yo, Putin, your rent payment is due. Where the hell is my money? Sorry, Donald, I can't pay rent this month. I spent all of my money on the slot machines and vodka. All right, well, that's going to be a 20% late fee and revoke utilities privileges. Donald, you are a greedy bitch. This is why I hate you capitalist pigs. Okay, now I'm going to raise your rent by 50% for insulting me. Stay mad, you communist. Donald, you are such an evil landlord. This is why we need government-provided housing instead of you landlord parasites buying up the whole market. Guys, can we just attack the WEF already? All right, Putin, let's start heading towards their base then. Yo, Ben, I heard there's going to be a big-ass battle between the presidents and the WEF. We got to join in. For sure, bro. We can easily overpower them if we attack while they're fighting. Also, I just made us some QBZ rifles. Nice, Ben. I just need to make some explosives, and we should be ready to make a Mars landing. Now nah, we need to make some more food before we land. I'm running low right now. Ben, there's like three stacks of pork chops in the chest, you dumbass. What more could you need? I am a man of the Lord, and I do not eat non-kosher food. You better get me some bread or something. Bitch, I guess you're just going to have to starve then. But anyway, I'm done making the explosives. Um, okay, are we ready to land now? Yeah, let's jump out. We should be able to dish out some spankings with our OP weapons. Ooh, I love getting spanked by my dummy mommy, Dr. Wifey. Yo, guys, I got my Russian hypersonic cruise missiles ready for launch. Just tell me when you're ready for the bombardment. Oh, well, I sure hope they're not aimed at children's playgrounds like the ones you launched in Ukraine. Obama, you better shut your bitch ass up. Maybe I'll have to launch them at an Afghan wedding or Yemeni villages like you. Guys, can we just start the attack already? All right, I launched the missiles. When they make impact, we can go inside the WEF building and capture Klaus Schwab. I can't wait to go in there and raw dog Klaus. I'm so tired of his shitty organization sticking their fingers in everything. Shut up, you dumb conspiracy theorist bitch. I'm pretty sure you're known for sticking your fingers in places they don't belong. Maybe we should ask E. Jean Carroll. Lamar Donald, you just got wrecked by Obama. Wait, holy shit, the missile just hit the building, yo, Obama and Putin, let's go inside. Um, all right, but watch out for the guards, because we all know your old ass has no aim or skill. Nah, I brought grenades this time, so we good. Let's go find Klaus. He's probably in the billionaire conference room. Okay, I'm gonna have my underfed conscripts attack the enemy. We're definitely gonna get the W. It would have been nice if my attack on Ukraine would have went this well. Oh dear, it appears we have some retarded assholes outside, but they won't stand a chance against the mighty World Economic Forum. We will ultimately achieve Lebensraum. Klaus Schwab, you are finished, and we have won. You better give up right now. Ah, Scheiser, it appears I've been cornered. Where the hell is my police force? Nah, guys, I think you mean that the top G has won. Me and Ben are now taking over the compound, so all of you needs to surrender right now. Yeah, get fricked, you nerds. We are now going to turn this server into a Jewish Minecraft server. Shut up, Ben. We are Muslim here, and we love Allah. Andrew, you traitor bitch. Stop third-partying our fight. You are spitting facts, Donald. I hate being third-partied on Apex Legends. Now everyone shut up before me and Ben starts blasting. We literally have a tank, so you all stand no chance against us. 
Nice try, Andrew, but I have an RPG, so no one gives a shit about your tank. Silence, you fools. What the frick? Why can't I move? Yeah, I'm frozen too. What the hell have you done, Klaus? Donald, how dare you betray me after all I've done for the sake of climate change and bug-based diets. I trusted you. Shut up, you old man. Your mom gay. Oh, well, since you all want to be the little bitches, I'm just going to press this button and banish you from this server so I can take over as the new emperor. Lamau Klaus, there is absolutely no way you can remove me from my own server that I pay for with my own money. Wait, what the hell did you do, you little shit? OMG, you kidnapped my boy Ben. You better give him back right now. No, you and Putin are going to stay here, but everyone else will stay banned from this server. Also, I have already prepared a replacement Minecraft server for the presidents that will be moderated and supervised by our own WEF internet police. Okay, but what are you going to do with me and Putin? I don't know. I guess you two are free to leave because I have no use for you guys, but I swear, if you attack us again, your asses are getting sent straight into the Matrix. Um, yes sir, I can promise it won't happen again. Yo, Putin, let's get the hell out of here. All right, I'm leaving now. Yo, Klaus, I'm sorry for going against the almighty WEF. It won't happen again. Bro, what the hell did Klaus do and why am I seeing a loading screen? Yeah, where are we? I am very scared right now. Bro, there's no way. Klaus literally teleported us to another server. It says we're on version 1.7.10. Donald, you better be joking. How the hell can Klaus send us to another server that makes zero sense? Also, it looks like we're in the Matrix. I don't know, but I have no admin permissions on this, so it's definitely not mine. Shit. Well, I guess we're just going to be stuck in the Matrix forever now. The WEF has officially won the war, and we have lost. No, you dumbass. We can't just give up yet. If Klaus truly defeated us, then we wouldn't be here right now. We need to find a way out of here. Uh, I'm getting off. This is too much for me to handle. I just wanted to play some simple Minecraft with my friend Andrew. Ben, you are a bitch, not gonna lie. Yo, Obama, I found a way out of the Matrix. Let's go look for some food. I'm hungry. Donald, you fat-ass bitch. Do you want me to get you some Cheetos or something? Shut up, Obama. Just come up the ladder so we can get out of here. Um, all right, I'm coming up the ladder. I wonder what type of facility we're in right now. Holy shit, it looks like we're inside an aircraft carrier. I can't believe Klaus Schwab would have done this. Yo, this is crazy. There's literally an Abrams tank over here. It reminds me of the good old Afghanistan days. Yeah, this is pretty nuts. I am so confused on how we even got to this point. But we need to get some fuel as soon as possible. All right, I'm going to head to the flight deck. I guess we're just going to have to survive on rotten flesh for now. Yo, guys, I want to join the server, but the shit's not letting me. Help, please. Joe, our server got taken over by the WEF, and it's been replaced with a new one. I messaged you the IP. Bro, I swear you all are trash. How did you manage to lose against an 85-year-old man? Nah, Klaus Schwab is just too powerful at the moment, but we still have a chance if we work hard to get stronger. Oh my god, guys, this server is officially better than the 1.16.51. Well, Ma, why is that, Obama? There's a beautiful MQ-9 Reaper drone, which is by far my favorite weapon, because I have gained a lot of kill experience on it over the years. I'm gonna bust no cap. OMG, nice Obama. I also have a lot of experience in bombing the shit out of Yemen. We can definitely make use of those drones. Ya Donald, hop in my fighter jet. We're about to test out our bombs on some nearby villages. All right, I'm hopping in the jet. We need to look for some land so we can figure out where the hell we are and how we can get back to our home server. I'm gonna fly this cool looking helicopter. It looks just like the ones that I left in Afghanistan when I pulled out. Yeah, Joe, I sure hope you can fly a Black Hawk better than the Taliban. Yo, Donald, I'm taking off now. I'm gonna need you to help me navigate around so we don't die. All right, I just turned on the gunner camera. Yo, Joe, did you crash your chopper yet? Nah, bro, I'm just terrorizing some squid with my auto cannon. This helicopter is pretty nice, not gonna lie. Yeah, Donald, I just found some land with what appears to be a Yemeni village on it. Oh, hell no, we gotta blow that shit up. I'm gonna launch some TV-guided missiles right at their houses. Bro, why do you guys hate Yemen so much? They didn't even do anything. I don't know, but I think they're hosting some sort of wedding ceremony down there, so I'm definitely gonna have to line up for a gun run. Nice, Obama. Let's show those Yemeni children who's boss. Drop the bombs! All right, I'm dropping our whole payload on the village. We're gonna need to get back to the carrier so we can rearm the plane. Nah, frick that! I'm just gonna eject out and raid the village for their resources so we can get some food. Yo, Joe, come help me! Donald, you dumbass. You should have told me before you did that. But anyway, I'm just gonna go back to the ship. Yo, guys, I just looted some carrots from the village, and I found a drug dealer that can sell us some magic mushrooms. Nice, Donald. I'm gonna land next to the village. We're gonna need to craft some more fuel because the chopper is almost empty. Okay, Joe, I think we just need some iron and coal to make fuel. I'm gonna go mine some. Yo, guys, I'm gonna hop off the server. My wife, Michelle, needs help starting her car. All right, I'm gonna get off, too. Um, okay, I guess I'll get off as well. 
I need to take another dose of my dementia pills. I think they're starting to wear off.